Ah, and we got a good connection too. Okay, sweet. Good connection. That is what I want. So let's go back. Hello, my YouTube friend, Pop Comics here. And in today's video, we're going to uh, go through a lot of comic books. That's what we do here. Okay, let me flip the camera around. Tina, how are you? Okay, I'm going to, uh, I guess I'm going to slow roll it until I get some stuff. Or, I mean, not some stuff. Slow roll it until some uh, people show up to look at comic books. <laughs> so we're going to start off. Jason handed me a copy of Star Storm number two the other day. So this is uh, Jason Feinstone's colored book that he worked on. My friend Jason. Uh, super awesome. I'm like, I'm so thrilled to actually have it. Uh, so much fun. It's so cool. There's some days where he's working on coloring this book and then like he needs a break. So he comes and helps me sort comic books. And so it's just like, it's so fun to actually get them on hand. Don't want to show you guys the whole book. You should go get it. You should go get this book. Uh, but yeah, this is super cool. So that's Jason's book. I just got it. Uh, number three, I think, just came out uh, this Wednesday, I believe. Uh, okay, so what's uh, what are we going to do today? Okay, so I'm um, I'm whatnotting. If you guys haven't whatnotted, I do have a referral code in the uh, description that gives you fifteen dollars off your first order. And um, what I want, yeah, Jason does do great coloring. What I wanted to tell you is that I, because my budget's been limited, hey, Brian, I'm trying not to spend too much. Hey, expensive cardboard. I've been entering in as many whatnot shows as I can. And these are all free wins on whatnot. And these are free wins on whatnot. And this is a free win on whatnot. And uh, this was free on whatnot. And these three packages were all free wins on whatnot you can get free comic books i've been working on it for about a week and a half my goal is to win 50 times i'm at almost 30 wins um and i'm going to do a big 50 book haul video 50 packages 50 free wins on whatnot so if you guys don't have money but you want to try to win some stuff uh whatnot you can win stuff it's not just a place to buy. It's a place to get some free, awesome win stuff. So it's fun. I have a whole bunch of packages. I think that's 17. 17 of the 27, so I have 10 more boxes inbound. And I'm um, I'm going to keep going until I hit about 50. Uh, the fun thing, too, is I'm going to save all these Gemini mailers because I want to do a comic show myself on whatnot. So I'm going to have a bunch of uh, mailers I can use for the show. Uh, well, it's been a long day. I've been doing a lot of streaming today. If you guys follow me, I did a uh, pop walk show in the morning, which was a ton of fun. I did a uh, the main channel show at uh, in the afternoon, maybe two or three o'clock. Now we're back here, and I have a lot of comics to go through. So what we have? We have three boxes left over from last week when I bought that big giant collection or big giant cheap box. I have a box of dollar bin stuff I picked up. From the dollar bin, you, if you've probably seen that video. Oh, Donald. Hey, Donald. I have a box from Donald to go through. I have one box of variants that I bought. Like, pretty good amount, too. Probably, like, 80 variants, something like that. That I uh, bought when they were on sale about a month ago. Yeah, this is my third big long stream today. We're going to try to go for two hours. I have one original piece of Katie Keen artwork that I bought. That I won on Heritage. It was kind of expensive. I think, like, four or $500 that I won maybe a month ago. Kind of my last hurrah. I kind of haven't really bought much in two weeks, but I have a couple little things trickling in. So I think we're going to start with the dollar bin purchase. Dollar bin. Okay. I want to try to spend a bit more time uh, just answering questions and talking because I don't have a ton of comic books to go through. So I think we're going to also just enjoy the comics a bit more. And uh, I got to find... Wait, why am I in Spider-Man booth? I actually have to find something because I would like... Last week, we won something while we were in the stream. So uh, I guess I'm going to leave it on Comic Traders because they do a lot of giveaways. Uh, okay, we're going to open up these. I bought two weeks ago while I was on Pop Walks at the garage sales. So I got this for... Uh... I think he did 10 on this. I forget. I think he gave me a little bit of a discount. He had it marked 15. And I believe I paid him 15 total. 
So the Art of War, the graphic novel version. I thought that sounded like a cool little graphic novel to get. Okay, I gotta move this forward just a touch. Touch forward, okay. When you're doing live stream, you have to do a couple of extra little adjustments that I would normally edit out in an edited video. So you get to see me as I work. Okay, we have the Art of War, a graphic novel. I don't even know if it's cool inside. I'm hoping, like the cover looked pretty cool. I'm hoping it's like a kind of a cool illustrated version of the Art of War. Uh, okay, illustrations look pretty cool. It looks like possibly color pencil or like... Ah, I forget that. What's, what's the G? Galosh? Goosh? I forget the name of uh, paint you can that's like water based. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Not like amazing artwork, but pretty neat. I like that. I also had grabbed at that garage sale a uh, Boys of Steel, The Creator of Superman. I guess it's like a children's book. I can move this back a little bit more so we can see. So I want to see how cool this looks. Hey, Reed. I just saw a children's book based on the creation of Superman. It sounded like a, like a fun kid's book to grab. So I, I'm going to read it. I just want to see what it says. It seems that it just, they're like dreaming of doing Superman. Then they did Superman. Go, go. I can't even say that, Tina, but you got it. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can't pronounce things. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then I, for a dollar, I found the Silent Invasion Book 3, Tarnished Dreams. I thought this looked really cool. And it's, I think, signed. If I remember correctly. Yeah, on the first page here, it's signed out of 300. And it like it just looks like a cool indie book from the eighties, like a heavy metal type book maybe, with just really cool illustrations, like a fun, really thick cartoony line, and it just looks really cool. So for a buck, why not? I love picking up stuff like that for a dollar. And then I grabbed uh, squash. So 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 gouache, gouache. I guess that's right. Uh, and then like uh, just an interesting looking. Fashion magazine kind of thing. Not 100% sure what this was, but it was a dollar. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'll just grab that. So that was my little garage sale haul from two weeks ago, I believe. Okay, I'm going to move those out of the way. Can't wait to read Jason's book. Okay. Uh, gouache. Okay, sweet. You guys understand. Okay, let's start the dollar bin haul. So if you guys watched... I actually bought these on my Pop Walks channel, and then I edited the live stream for the comic channel. So you might either seen the walking channel with all the extra footage. You might have seen the edited version for uh, the comic channel, or you might not have seen any of it. And this is your first time checking it out. So these are all a dollar, and um, I had a very limited budget because Tina gave me a $100 gift card for my birthday. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to spend it on a dollar bin. So I maximized my value. So I probably got like $300 plus worth of books for a hundred bucks. Uh, but since I was almost at my limit, he's like, oh, I'll take an extra 10. So he basically gave me 110 for a hundred bucks. And then uh, I realized I couldn't use the gift card that I had at the store. So I gave it to my wife who used it for grocery shopping. And I just put it on my credit card. So I ended up going back and buying like 30 more comics. So I think I bought 130 total. And okay, but well, you know, for a dollar, Donald, I'm going to check it out, see if it's cool. Uh, but so, yeah, I grabbed a whole bunch of Master Kung Fu's for a dollar piece. I think Donald wants all my duplicates. So I'm going to owe Donald a trade for the Ziggy art he sent me. So some of these will probably end up becoming Donald's once I kind of sort them into my collection. I just don't know what I have. So anytime I see them for a dollar, I grab them. Hey, Mark. So we Master Kung Fu 108. And these look to be decent, like higher grade. Like there's some spine takes, but they're probably still fine plus very fine copies. 109, which is for a dollar. This is actually kind of amazing stuff. 113, 111. I think there's a couple key issues that are missing, but that's okay. Just getting the rest of the run for a buck. Amazing. And I've been wanting to put this full run together for, oh, I don't know, four years now. So it just like I've been slowly buying for a dollar, but this gave me probably a third to half the run. So I really need to organize it and figure out what I needed. This one was a little bit more damaged, but still for a dollar, it's, you know, the thicker issue. Super cool. Uh, 32 is also a bit more worn. 37. 
34. Yeah, some of these in the 30 were a little bit worn. These might have been from a different person even. Uh, I mean, like, as in the store had someone else trading them in. It was for a dollar piece. This was really cool stuff. Number 50. Number 91. And honestly, if I have them already, I'd still probably grab these all day for a dollar. Because I'm pretty sure they would retail for like three to five bucks. So a dollar just feels like a really good steal on them. Uh, okay, Master Kung Fu 103. Uh, number 104. Number 107. Number 108. Number 101. Number 97. Number 94. 92. These are, I mean, these are just so much fun. Actually, let's look inside one. Like, it just has a great old school mid 70s artwork. Oh, I love the Sunday night morning or morning uh, cartoon. Oh, there's the Tarzan cartoon. We were talking about that this morning. Oh, that's neat. I love when I talk about something and then I see something that kind of connects to it. Oh, these are fun too. Old school Marvel Electronics. $8.99. Well, how much was the comic then? 50 cents. So that's the equivalent of uh, uh, 16, 18 comics. So in today's price, 18 times, 4 bucks, 30. So like $70, $80 for these. Oh, hey, Ronnie. Yeah, that's super cool. Okay, number 88. Number 116. I do need the bag and board some of these. Uh, number 106. Okay, those are super cool. Uh, I do, I want, because my budget's a little bit limited until I catch up on all my bills, I feel like I need to do a lot more dollar bin digging and f doing just fun dollar bond, uh videos with you guys. I think I might focus on doing that over the next month or so. Uh, number 80, because I still, I'm itching to hunt for comics almost on a daily basis. Number 30, and buying stuff like this for a dollar is such a better deal sometimes than buying something that you really want online at full value. Sometimes it's better to hunt for the value. Uh, the Fight Club comics, I always buy these because if I don't have them, they're fun to have. And if I do have them, I've sold them every time I got them in my shop for like five to eight bucks. So I like grabbing those when I see them. Uh, I think that's the that's a duplicate, but I will keep both the newsstand and the direct. I believe that's a direct uh, 93, 95. So I do all my Bronze Age stuff. I have both the newsstand and direct when I can. Uh, 96, 99. Um... Oh, yeah, no, I, in my head, I'm constantly doing math. I just, I, I enjoy calculating stuff, and I enjoy figuring out how to get the best deal every time I try to buy something. <laughs> so I'm really good at estimating stuff. Yeah, no, exactly. I think when I grab this kind of stuff, it's way more affordable, but I'm also grabbing a lot of value and potentially duplicates that I can sell and kind of cover what I spend so I can keep going. Because I want to keep doing really big long haul videos for you guys because honestly i have so much fun when i do this this is just like sunday has become my like if i try to do at least sunday one big haul video live like this it brings me so much joy and i kind of look forward to it all week all week i'm thinking how am i going to do it what am i going to get and all that stuff uh, i want to win it well if you didn't see it when i first started i i've been telling you guys i've been trying to do the what not wins where I want to do 50 wins to do a haul video of 50 free comics. So that's a whatnot win. 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 I won that as well. I also won that comic. That comic was free on whatnot. This is also free. This is also free. I won that one as well. Uh, this one's free. This one's free. And you know what? That one is free and i won that one that one was free and i uh i won a pack of lord of the rings magic the gathering cards <laughs> so i'm at 27 wins so far my goal is to hit 50 so i have about a week more i think of trying to win a couple times a day so it's super fun so yeah i'm i'm getting my uh sort of my toys r us shopping spree of free comics and i've won some are like 20 30 comics some are two dollar comics but they're all, you know, every time you win, it's super thrilling and super fun. Uh, you guys even saw me win last week, I think. Uh, okay, I didn't win that one. Right now, and I'm trying to multitask. Like, if I'm streaming, I'm trying to also win. So whenever I multitask, I also try to enter. Or if I like playing video games with the cool kid, 
I'll be entering. I have uh, on my computer desk now, I have two iPads taped, not taped, but uh, strapped to the pole. So I have two iPads enter in, and then I have several phones that I use. So yeah, constantly entering. It's fun. I can't wait to hit 50 of them. Thank you, Mike. I really appreciate that. Uh, Master Kung Fu 104. I'm having so much fun on all the channels. I Honestly, on my main channel, I was very negative against it because i've had such negative experiences on it with like live streaming and whatnot because i got a lot of negativity towards i guess funko pops in general which kind of rubs me negative as well but i um i realized last night after like someone left some negative comments i'm like you know what i don't need to deal with terrible people i don't have to deal with people that are negative so i my ban hammer is really heavy right now i'm just banning people left and right i think i've blocked six people on the last day and I'm going to continue to do that. If people want to be negative towards me while I'm doing content, I'm going to knock them out. I'd rather just hang out with all you guys. All right? You're all very positive and awesome. So if someone comes in my stream and wants to, like, change the way I am or, or, or you know, criticize me for what I do, I mean, cool. That's, that's, you get banned and you can continue to talk to yourself about it, which is awesome because I don't really need that in my life. <laughs> So I'm finding my joy, and on the main channel, I've live streamed three days in a row. I'm actually finding joy on that channel again. It's actually been pretty fun. And the walking channel. If you guys don't follow me yet on the walking channel, I still want to get to 1,000 followers on there. I'm getting close. I think I'm at 850-ish right now. And uh, I like to me, this morning, I had the most fun chat. People were asking me some great questions. And we were... Oh, thank you, Mark. I really do appreciate that. Uh, we were talking about uh, like video games and cartoons and stuff that my mom liked stuff my my brother liked and just like all kinds of cool stuff it was actually really fun today uh oh i grabbed this really fun um scarlet cover gi joe love scarlet she's one of my favorite gi joe character her and the baroness and all the female characters were my favorite as a kid so i do like collecting the covers that they're on uh i grabbed this because it just looks so fun and goofy it's entropy tales with a fun fox lady a slug uh, the artwork is kind of goofy, but fun at the same time. So I thought that was fun for a buck. Uh, New Ultimates 3, not like a valuable issue, but has a fun Frank Cho cover. So I grabbed that for a dollar. Yeah, I love I love the comic call videos. They're my favorite. Now, the, again, this one isn't super valuable, but the Scotty Young cover. So I was like, I got to grab Scotty Younger, Young when I see it. Uh, Master Kung Fu 52. I hear thunder. I wonder if it's going to rain. Um... Yeah, no, I keep put promoting the walking channel because I really I'm trying to push it to the thousand. I know a few people have mentioned it on their channels too, so people have really been helping me out. Uh, you know what's really exciting too? I'm gonna give a shout out to um Big B McFly. He um he came into my walk channel and he comes into my walk channel often, which is really cool. And he does a cool thing where he does a um an hashtag trying to promote other comic channels to kind of help channels grow. And uh he was eight away from hitting a thousand so hitting the goal of a thousand so we pushed him over while we're doing the walk channel we pushed him over a thousand today i thought that was so cool he needs views though if you guys want to still check out his channel and subscribe to him that would be pretty cool and um what was really cool is i think his thousandth subscriber was my mom i think my mom subscribed to him and he hit a thousand i thought that was so cool oh james that's awesome i'm so happy you made a live stream uh okay 47 the white looks really nice on this one 48 i love getting these uh low you know early 70s bronze age where they look very bright white that's kind of awesome to me uh 49 oh this one was a shock batman 248 it's mid-grade it's probably like a fine for a dollar i feel like that's a 20 to 40 dollar book that was amazing to me i could not believe that was in the dollar bin uh rock stars number one i just thought this had a really fun cover i love the way it looks uh, I think the interior artwork was okay as well. Like, kind of fun. Kind of its own style. So, yeah. For a dollar, I sometimes like picking up indie stuff like that. Because it's fun. And then... Thank you, Tina. Uh, oh, all right. Cool, Mark. Yeah, that's awesome. It's hard. It's really um hard to have everything. There's so little room in life. Uh, Jade Street number one. This was a Carmine Street comic exclusive. I didn't know if it was valuable or rare or anything. But being a store exclusive, I figured I'd just grab it. It looked like a kind of a fun indie. 
Uh, Wolf Moon number one, this awesome Jay Lee cover. Had to have that. Love his artwork. Uh, Bronze Age Wonder Woman, I'll grab all day long for a dollar. Wonder Woman 295. Uh, more Master of Kung Fu, 114. I think 115 was the key, which is missing. Uh, but number 18 in pretty decent shape. Probably like a fine plus. It has a little bit of a crease right there. For a dollar, though, that felt like a steal. Uh, number 58. Number 62. I do need the bag and board those. Uh, Mind the Gap, number three. I just really love this cover. It's a Scotty Young cover. I thought it was gorgeous. A dollar. I'll buy Scotty Young for a dollar anytime because I know a lot of times they're worth something. And I like his artwork. And if I don't have it, I'm thrilled to add it to my collection for a dollar. And if I do have it, I know I could put it in my shop for three to six dollars and it'll sell. So I don't mind getting, yo, know, just I grab every Scotty Young I see if it's in a dollar bin. Uh, interview with the Vampire, number 12. I don't think I had that one. That's really cool. Uh, okay, next handful. I'm really happy I was able to do a dollar bin dig this week, though. Because I added, you know, I got three videos out of it, basically. We have today's live stream. I have the edited from the walking live stream and then the walking live stream. So, that is super, super uh, great amount of content for uh, you know not too much money and also just a beautiful gift from tina so between all that it's just awesome i love this uh gij number 11 a fun dreadnought um dreadnought cobra cover Jeez, my brain is trying to like <laughs> gij 15 i kind of they had more gi joes i kind of wish i grabbed more of them i might have to go back uh master kung fu 56 uh fight club 2 number 3 again i'll grab any fight club especially it's a david mack cover so i love david mack uh, mind management number 11. I always grab these because I think they're kind of hard to get. Uh, this was the Avengers of Archer and Armstrong. So it's a newer Valiant, but it's also a Comics Pro store exclusive. So I think this one is like maybe a 5 to $10 book. Just a little bit harder. Uh, favorite one all the time? People ask all the time, but it's Gru. Gru the Wanderer. Absolutely love Gru the Wanderer. I think that was the one comic line that got me back into comics after being out of it for about six years i sold all my comics in 93 except for two i kept gi joe 21 which was my favorite as a child and funny folks number three that my grandma gave me just a really awesome golden age book so i kept those two books sold the rest i thought it was done with comics so i was so um really just overwhelmed by the foil covers the expensive covers the lack of good artwork so i got out of comics but then in the late 90 so about six years after i sold them i was like you know what i'm really sad i sold my group so i put my group collection back together i remember i think it was either 99 or 2000 and my wife and i went um on my birthday i was like i want to try to put the group set together so we went to like eight comic shops in the city and we put together a um probably about two-thirds of the set just at like a couple bucks a piece yeah i saw i saw the transformers are back at image i think that's super cool transformers is awesome i love transformers um i'm really looking forward to how seeing where void rivals goes i think that's really really awesome um thank you mr robot yeah i i love comic books even crappy ones i think every comic book deserves to have uh some love and but even like there's low value ones but they have amazing stories or amazing artwork so it's not even like i like crappy crappy comics just because it's fun that someone tried to do a comic book but i like really high quality made interesting different comics even if they have no value i just i like all kinds of comics comics are amazing uh civil war choosing sides i bought this just because it has a really cool howard the duck cover love howard the duck uh 4001 ad a fun Clayton Crane cover. Also grabbed it because it's one of those Comics Pro exclusives. I think this one is 5 to 10 bucks as well. So I grabbed that. Uh, all I sell in my own shop is back issues. And I, I don't even sell that great of a selection of back issues. My shop's not... My shop's more of a pop culture junk store than a comic shop. So I don't sell... Uh, like slab books, I don't sell big key issues, and I don't sell new issues. What I sell is just fun run filler that you can buy for like two to four bucks. That's where my bread and butter is. Usually when I put out $50 books, they sit around. They don't sell that well. Basically, I would have to give them away for less than eBay prices, like a lot less. If it's a $50 all day long on eBay, hey, Alexandro, I would have to put it in my shop probably for like 35 to get it to sell. And, you know, that's why I'm not really going on my way to buy expensive books for the shop. I'd rather buy, you know, cool Bronze Age stuff for a buck that I can sell for three bucks. And that will sell all day long. Uh, Demon Days, uh, there was a Peach Momoko book. It has a little bit of a crease right there, but for a dollar, I couldn't leave a Peach Momoko book in the dollar bin. 
Uh, Gunsmith Cats, number eight. I do love collecting all the manga stuff. So I'll grab that for a dollar. Uh, Zen Galactic Ninja, number one. Decided I had to have that. Uh, Mind Management, number four. Again, I pick these up all the time. I got to see what I actually need. I probably have multiples of all of them. And number three. Uh, I'm on a iPhone. And it's streaming right now at 1080p, 60 frames a second. So it's pretty clear for a, a stream. And it's stream I have a really, really good internet connection. So it's streaming at uh, 13,000 kilobits per second. Whatever that means. So that's 13... I don't know what it's, it's streaming at a really high rate just so that it could be as clear as possible I would like it to be a little bit clearer but I uh, I just I want it to be as good of a live stream as possible so that I can get close to regular filming experience but doing it live because the reason why I like doing it live is that I can chat with you guys and I really to me it brings me so much joy just hanging out and like answering questions and talking about fun stuff and communicating and interacting with each other I think there's a much higher level of satisfaction doing videos in live stream than pre-recorded. Pre-recorded is fun for me, but to actually um, share with you guys is so much more fun for me. I, I actually, because I'm dyslexic, I don't read many comics like words. I'll flip through probably 50 to 100 comics a day just because I'm constantly buying them and stuff. So I'll take something like this. I'll flip through it uh, like really quickly. I'm like, oh, that looks cool. And I'll enjoy it a little bit. And then every once in a while, I'll, I'll do a much more deeper dive. But I honestly, I'm in comic books for the artwork more than for the stories. And that's probably why I buy so many because I consume them so quick. My consumption on comics is a fast consumption because I'm more into them for the collectability of them, for the artwork, and to enjoy them. And then I do read them. I do read them, but not as often as I would like. You know, I just don't have enough time. I rather, you know, I'd rather do something like this where I'm doing a video showing a whole bunch of cool comics than sitting and reading them because I get a lot of enjoyment sharing how awesome they are, if that makes sense. Uh, okay, we got Thor 11, really fun cat variant. I like that. Like, I usually, if I see a cool comic book that's a variant or a smart variant, I'll pick it out of a dollar bin because you never know if it's like a ratio or just something a little bit harder to get. Um, uh, three, so... If you go to Comic-Con, you it's really, if you're looking for key issues, prices are going to be higher than eBay price. Cons aren't really good for buying key issues that are graded. It's better to go on eBay and try to bid on some, like, auctions and try to get them under market. You will do a lot of, like, I almost never buy key issues, issues at cons unless... You know, every once in a while, you'll see someone that will list something cool. But for $350, $400, you might be able to get, like, a first uh, Howard the Duck in, like, a 9-0 or... You know, there'll be some stuff that you'll be able to get, but I just, I don't really like buying key issues at cons because a lot of vendors use those as eye candy and they don't want to sell them for a good price. If it's worth 300 on eBay, they're going to want 350 for it, basically. Uh, all right, we got a bunch more Master Kung Fu. Like, that one just looks so vibrant. It has a couple little marks on it, but it's gorgeous. Man, I love these. Uh, all right, the new Avengers number 13, just a really fun variant cover. I don't know if it's worth anything, but again, I'll buy variants out of dollar bins whenever I see them. I just, I like getting fun, interesting, different comics. And then we have Flash 303. I'll buy Bronze Age Flash all day long for $3. I mean, for a dollar, because they sell really well for me for three to five in the shop. And I'm still working on my own collection, so I grab them all. I see if it's a condition upgrade or if I need it to complete my runs. And then I sell off the duplicates, and the duplicates go real quick. I don't think I have any in stock in the shop right now. 301, uh, 297. All right, we got Mind Management number 12, Flash 305, Flash 314, Flash 306. I really like these, though. I think these are super awesome. Uh, 307, 308, 312, 313. Uh, Wonder, oh, this was super cool. Brian Boland, Wonder Woman. I'll buy these all day long for a dollar. It looks to be in pretty high grade as well. Dollar on that was amazing. Okay, let me clear these out and get the next deck. Uh, yeah, it is a cool cover. Uh, we have one of these really fun mad uh, variants. I thought this was super cool for a buck. Love that. Uh, Kim and Kin number one. Again, it was another Kimeline Street exclusive. Not sure how valuable it is, but I'll grab any weird exclusive I see. Uh, Sidekick One Image Ex Expo. I think I looked this one up and it's probably like a $10 issue. Maybe a $5. Uh, 
Uh, Nathan Zerdy, Ryan Kincaid cover for a buck. I'll buy that all day long because that cover is gorgeous. Uh, DC Comics Presents 41, a really cool Bronze Age Joker cover for a dollar. Felt like a steal. Uh, Infinity Countdown, Daredevil number one, an awesome Clayton Crane cover for a buck. Robotech 2, The Sentinels. I love buying the 1980s manga reprints. I'll buy those all day long. Uh, Never Dies number four, a fun Red Sonia Vampirella cover. Dynamite number three, a fun species homage with Red Sonia. I thought that was really cool. Uh, Secret Wars number three, a fun Mary Jane variant. Love that. Uh, G.I. Joe number one. I just thought that was a really fun cover. I like that one. Uh, Concrete Jungle number... I'm not sure the number, but I thought the cover is really cool on this. And I realized I picked this up more than once. I think I picked this one up a few times. Uh, Bounty number one. A really fun cover. Uh, the uh, Dylan, who works at the shop, he said he wanted to do a homage to this cover. And then, oh, wow, the interior artwork's gorgeous on this. Wow, this is a great-looking book. Oh, wow, this is really cool. I'm going to have to see if I can find some more issues to it. I really like that. Who did the artwork? Uh, I'm not sure which one of those is the artist, but that looked really cool, actually. Uh, Detective Comics 796, really fun cover. Uh, Defiant 1, thought that was a pretty cool cover. Uh, Stronghold number 5. Redline Comics, it's like a really indie comic, but I thought it looked pretty cool. I like the way the coloring looks in this. I saw it was like a fun colored indie. Uh, Astonishing Tales number two, a really cool um, Kenneth Rockefeller cover. I really like his artwork, so I buy it anytime I see it. Uh, Invisible Woman number two, awesome Adam Hughes cover. Uh, Legionnaires number seven, early Adam Hughes cover. I'll pick these up when I see them because I think this is a really undervalued issue. Uh, Elf Quest number five, I'm still grabbing all the Elf Quest I can find. Uh, Dark Knights of Steel, number five. Just a fun Harley Poison Ivy cover. Uh, Wonder Girl, number one. And Voices Identity, number one. All right, so that's a nice little batch. Okay, we have a little bit more in this box. Or from this dollar bin haul. One little bit more handful. Okay, here we go. And feel, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer some questions today. I, uh, I like having questions, especially if it's a good question that really triggers a, a thought or a, a conversation. Uh, Comic Traders isn't doing too many giveaways today. Let me see if I can scroll down and see uh, if I can find anything. I uh, oh, oh, scroll doesn't work on this very well. Okay, I gotta, or I got to go back to the top, I think. Or maybe I got to close the app because it's acting very sluggish. Very sluggish. Uh, okay, go that. Comics and Manga. Oh, yeah. It should be... Uh, it says 56 people are streaming right now. So let's see if we can find any. If not, I'm just going to leave it on Comic Traders. This is acting very sluggish. So I'm going to just leave it on Comic Traders in case they do another uh, giveaway. Uh, okay, Spider-Woman 13. Just a fun variant cover. Thought that was really cool. Uh, all new Avengers number 12 variant cover. Thought that was pretty neat. A uh, Marvel Action Spider-Man. I like buying these kid comics because I know these are going to be kind of hard to find down the road. Uh, more Bronze Age Flash. Flash 298. Flash 299. Uh, Yusugi Jimbo number 16. I grab all the Yusugi Jimbo stuff I can get. Stan Sekai was the um, colorist and letterist on Gru. So I just I love collecting his stuff too just because I love Gru so much. Uh, Man Thing won one of the Goosebumps cover variants. I thought that was really neat. Uh, Master of Kung Fu 78. Number 76. Number 77. Number 89. Number 75. Number 85. Number 51. Number 82. I'm actually really glad I grabbed all these. Number 79. Because I was going to leave some back because I just didn't have enough cash. But then I was like, ah, oh, I'm just going to have to get them. <laughs> 55, 87, 81, 74, uh, 83, 73, 72, 67, 68, 64, 66, and 84. Okay, so that was everything out of the... Um, Rented Girlfriend is a good manga. I've, I, I've looked at it and it seemed interesting. Uh, Karen, can you actually... When this video is over, can you put in the description Rent a Girlfriend manga just so I can check it out? I would like to check it out. 
I would like to um, check out a lot more manga because I enjoy manga is the one type of comic I love reading more than American comics. Uh, my favorite manga recently was The Drifting Classroom. I just love the artwork in it. Also, um, Orochi, I believe, is another book he drew that I thought was gorgeous. And then um, there's a new one that they're... Or not a new one, but an old one that they're reprinting in uh, early next year, I think, that I'm looking forward to. One about, like, two kids who get sent into, like, a, a computer system to be the AI for it or something like that. But then they spend their time trying to find their parents, but as an AI. So there's all these cool, like, images of computer rooms and stuff. Draw. It looks just really cool. And it's from the 70s, too, which it feels like it's way more relevant to today than ever. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, okay, so that was that box. So we have three more boxes left over from the um, the big collection I bought last week. That we just didn't get to. But I also have a couple one not orders. And one bigger order here. And I have a box from Donald of some cool Ziggy stuff. Actually, I think I'm going to order... I'm going to open up... Um, what is this? The One Stop Shop or Toss Comics? I'm going to open up Toss Comics. Because this one has a lot of really cool variants. That They had a big sale where they were all 5 bucks, Which they're normally like 10 to 15 So I bought a lot of really cool variants. Or store exclusives. Okay, let's get this box open. Okay. Oh, good. It has an invoice. I know they, they refunded me, so there's some stuff missing from the order that I thought I was going to get. But I think it was only, like, two or three of the comics. And not the whole batch. Yeah, there's you know, big old stacks in here. Uh, my top five all-time favorite comic artists, uh, Nick Cardi. Love Nick Cardi. I think he was just a genius in the way he laid out covers. Um, Kirby. Love Kirby. Uh, I mean, I like Neil Adams. I don't know if he'll be top five of my favorite. Uh, oh, modern artists. I love, you know, Peach Momoko, David Nakayama. I, obviously, I love Sergio Aragonis. Uh, I don't know. It's really hard to pick top five because sometimes there's artists I don't like that make absolutely brilliant covers and then sometimes there's covers that are terrible of my favorite artists. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can actually rank it. Oh, Jeff Darrow is another artist. I absolutely love his covers. But I don't know. It's hard to say who they are. I haven't really thought about ranking it. I really should do a ranking of my top favorite for five covers, like the favorite covers of my favorite artists, and then based on that, determine who my favorite are. Right? Like, if I pick out a Peach Momoko cover, and I think it's the best, then I pick out, like, a Nick Cardi best cover, and then I decide which one of those two I like better, and kind of rank it, that might work better. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of artists I buy on site. Like, I buy all the Sabine Ridge I can get, I buy all the um, Dawn Matigue that I can get. I buy so many artists just on site. Oh, okay. I, I did a color print dust. So I should be able to figure out what I paid on all these. So I believe all of these are either exclusives to their shop or just exclusives in general. Like to multiple shops. Uh, oh, I can't figure out what I paid on this. Oh, okay. So this is a Bilson Cavage cover. And Bilson Cavage is another artist I buy on the site. And this was five bucks. So $5. I'll buy any cool rare version that Bilson Cavage does for $5. I love his artwork. Uh, all these Phantom Starkiller books I've kind of wanted for a while, but they're all expensive. And all of these were um, five bucks as well. So yeah, I do. I like... Um, Stephen Hughes, I mean, he's okay. He's not my favorite. I do like, you know, uh, he did, he's the guy who did all the... Um, uh, what's her name? Lady Death. So I do like those. Perillo actually has some gorgeous covers. I do really like Perillo. Uh, the thing with Perillo is it's usually more of a... Um, like a centric character with Perillo. And it's not like a composed cover. So Perillo will make a beautiful woman. But I don't know if I like the overall compositions that he uses. And then Lisner. I really like Lisner. Um, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of Lisner. But uh, Dawn Matigue I absolutely love. Okay, we got... Uh, Star color. I think these are super cool. 
I like that they made toys out of these guys. So we got another one of these. These were all $5 each. And uh, Son Kaminsky is really good too. Uh, okay. This was uh, Die One. I'm not sure the artist on this one. Oh, yeah. Frizen. Jenny Frizen is another person I actually really love too. But Jenny Frizen, again, a lot of her covers are single character centric and they're not laid out covers. I think the best comic artists are the ones that can tell a story in the cover and not just have like a really nicely, you know, generated image of a person, which I love those. But I don't know if they make my favorite covers. Like I love a good composed cover. Uh, Black Cat one. This one was exclusive limited to 3000 Merca and Delpho cover. Five bucks. I really love Merca and Delpho too. Big fan of hers. Uh, Ryan Brown, Silver Surfer Black. This cover is gorgeous. This one was five bucks. Really like these. I think these are cool. And I just, I wasn't going to buy anything, but they had so many beautiful comics for five bucks. Uh, nice House on a Lake, number one, which I hadn't seen this version of number one before. And that one is uh, Carla Cohen for 12 bucks. I thought these were gorgeous covers. 12 bucks felt like a really good price on those. Uh, Punchline number one, a Kale New cover. I've actually become a big fan of Kale New recently too. Like I've been collecting a lot of his stuff. Um, yeah, Silver Surfer cover is dope. Really dope. Like I saw it and I was like, I have to get it. I just love how the Galactus... See, to me, this is more of a composed image. Because Galactus is in the background. You have Silver Surfer. It tells a story, right? So Galactus is sending out his Herald, basically. I think that's just a cool-looking cover. Uh, where, where this cover is gorgeous, but it's more graphic design. And it's not as much of a story. So, I mean, I absolutely love this cover. But to me, this isn't as composed as the Silver Surfer. Uh, this one was 5 bucks. 5 bucks for exclusives just feels like a steal. Uh, this is Department of Truth number one, Alan Qua, Virgin variant for five bucks. Really cool. What I like about this one is just how many people and just the spotlight of red color on it. Just a really, really gorgeous cover. And this is a big, thick book too. I think that's the trade paperback actually. Uh, okay. We have a We Live limited 300 pieces. Uh, that's a really limited cover. Who did that? I mean, it's not, honestly, the artwork is not that great on it. But I do really, really like We Live, so I grabbed those. Uh, I, Rose Besh and Dan Hip, I collect everything I can get as well. Those are two artists I also really love. Uh, eventually, I'm going to do videos where I just, you know, Rose Besh, I have half a short box of Dan Hip. I have probably about 10 to 15 of his covers. He hasn't done a lot yet, but I'm grabbing all of them. But most of his covers are ratio variants, so they're kind of hard to get. Uh, I thought this was a really awesome Neil Adams Joker cover. Uh, how much did I pay? This one was five bucks. Yeah, all, almost all these were five dollars. It was such a really good sale on all these really cool exclusives. Uh, Twig, what number is this? Number one. I thought this was fun because it's like a golden book kind of homage, I guess. Five bucks for that. I thought it was really cool. Uh, this is Noctura number one, the John Gallagher exclusive for five bucks. Sabine Rich is awesome. Every time I've met her in person, she's also been really, really wonderful to meet. Like she's so friendly and nice. So yeah, and Chrissy Zulo is another one, another artist I really enjoy. Uh, Vanish number one for five bucks. I liked. I was getting a lot of these like rarer exclusives for some of these indie stuff. Uh, Mercy number one. This is a list of very exclusive. I actually hadn't seen this one before, so I thought that was really cool. It was fun because I've seen a lot of variants for series. I tend to collect. Uh, first appearance of Swamp Thing homage. Department of Truth number ten. I just thought that was really cool because I love the original cover. So I like getting homages to really cool covers like that. Uh, all right, I got to figure out. I think I paid five for it. I'm just trying to see if I see it on the list. Where's the list? But yeah, it sounds like you, most of you guys are naming artists that I absolutely love. So it's going pretty good. You, you guys are naming some good ones. Uh, all right, I'm not. Oh, there it is. It was five bucks. Five bucks for that one. Five bucks felt like a really cool price. I mean, good price on that. Uh, Mark Brooks, The Joker. Love that cover. Gorgeous, gorgeous cover. That one was uh, $5 as well. Here, put that there. Uh, I have more. I have probably a long box of Peach Momoko now. Maybe a little bit over a long box, I think. I have, Well, I have two full short boxes and then like that much more. So whatever that's equal to. Maybe 300 ish 
Definitely have a lot. I might have more, though, because I think she's done 500-something, and I think I, I might have, like, 400 of them, because I was trying to see which ones I still needed. Uh, this one is 5 bucks. This was a uh, Carla Cohen, again. Really gorgeous Batman cover with Miracle Molly. Uh, a really awesome Ryan Brown Alien cover. 5 bucks. I really want to get all the uh, Alien covers from this series. I think they're all cool. Um, yeah, you don't see as much, like, storytelling on modern comedy. You are correct. I feel like a lot of it is more pin-up like this. I mean, I, no, I'm not complaining. I love it. But I prefer, like, this is an homage to a cover that told a story. I like, Or that's an homage to a cover that told a story. I like covers that tell stories a lot. I think that, you know, a cover kind of needs that to be one of the best classic all-time covers. Uh, whereas, like, I love Nathan Zerdy. He makes really cute, beautiful women covers. But they usually don't tell a story. It's Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy hanging out with the hyenas. I don't know where they're hanging out. I don't know what they're doing. There's no story there. All I know is they look really pretty. Uh, that one was five bucks, though. Nathan's already for five bucks. I'll buy those all day long. Okay, next, next, uh, next bundle. All right, oh, okay, another bundle. I, bought, I probably end up buying about... I spent 400 bucks with them, so I five dollars a piece... Was that about 80 books? There might be one or two like double packs. Um, Dan Mora, I'm not 100% sure. Hey, Axel. Uh, the name is so familiar. Um, what issues? He did Klaus. I probably like his artwork. If it's good, I probably like it. I'm just not familiar with his name. Like, it might have been something I picked up a ton of time. A lot of times I'm not familiar with artist names, but I buy their books all the time. Just because I like the artwork. I'm showing as many beautiful books as I can. I had kind of a limited budget for tonight's haul. But I still had a few bigger purchases I made earlier, like a month ago. And that's what this is. This I ordered at the beginning of July, like the 4th, I think. Maybe the 3rd. So I um, it took them a few weeks to ship it, though. This was actually a very long shipping time. Exactly. It should be a good teaser. Now, sometimes the covers have nothing to do with what's inside. <laughs> it's like almost annoying. Uh, okay, so this one was 8 bucks, But it's the Virgin Zerdy, originally $30. So $8 felt like a really, really good price on that. Um, okay, so we had the Dawn. This might have been the set of them. Yeah, so I paid $15 for the set. I have two of them, but not three of them. So I, I, I grabbed the whole set for 15 though, because individually, I think they would be uh, like 10, 15 bucks a piece. So for the price of one, I got the one I needed, and then I got two that I could probably stick in my shop for like 10, 15 bucks. Uh, I do like Alex Ross. Alex Ross, the thing with Alex Ross that I'm not as big of a fan is he's very stiff. Everything looks like a model posing, and it's not really as dynamic, but he does model posing paintings beautifully. And every once in a while, he'll do a composed cover that's absolutely gorgeous. Like the one he did with the Hulk where they're in the diner. That one was such an amazing cover. I absolutely love that one. So we had that one. We had the Sketch variant and then the Bloody Inked variant. Which I think I actually had those two, but I needed that one. So I bought the lot of three. I figured why not. Uh, punchline number one. This one was uh, five bucks. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Uh, Ryan Kincaid, I believe. Ryan Kincaid is always kind of confusing to me because a lot of times he does stuff with other artists. So I never, like his style, never, I don't know what his style is, honestly. <laughs> like I can't pick out his art when I see it. Uh, but I thought that was a gorgeous cover. Uh, Joshua Burns, Red Sonia, Vampirella cover where they switched each other's outfits. I thought that was super cute. Uh, that one was 12 bucks, but it was a set. So I think there's actually two books. Yeah, it feels like there's two in there. Which it says they're originally trying to get 40 for them. So $12 is like a huge discount sale on these. Yeah, so we have that one and we have this one. So we have daytime and nighttime. Both very, very sexy, cute covers. 12 bucks. Yeah, I'll buy those all day long. I've been buying a lot of Josh Burns lately as well. Uh, oh, and then we have two awesome uh, Wonder Woman, black, white, and red. I think that's Carla Cohen again. Let me just double check. Yeah, Carla Cohen for 12 bucks for the pair. I thought that was a great price. Uh, lots of fun. And a lot of this stuff I haven't seen before or I just haven't had access to it. 
So it's actually, it was kind of cool to get a lot of these where they were originally $35, like really expensive, getting them for super duper cheap. Uh, really amazing Dawn Matee punchline cover. I absolutely love this cover. I think it's stunning. Uh, this one was 12 bucks for the pair. 12 bucks felt like a great price on those. Love Dawn Matee. I'm trying to get everything she's ever done. And she has a couple newer ones I got to track down. Uh, oh, this beautiful Nathan Zerdy, uh It's a Batman Fear State, but it's a Poison Ivy cover. I just thought this cover was gorgeous. Uh, this one was... Uh, it looks like a set. I think I paid $15 for a set of three. So there should be two other Nathan Zerdy covers. Yeah, so we have this one. And we have... Uh, is there one more? Yeah, we have that one. So I, I had that one, but I didn't have those two. But 15 bucks for the three of them, that felt like a real good steal. Awesome, awesome price. All right, I'm going to... These are... Now I'm glaring. I'm trying to make it not glare, and then I adjusted it, and now it's glaring. So back back like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me move that down. Uh, oh, this is a whole pack. Let's see what was in this pack. Yeah, the covers are gorgeous. Uh, like, a lot of these just have uh, gorgeous covers. I, honestly, I just... Half the time, I'm just buying stuff because I think the cover's gorgeous, regardless of who's done it. Although, usually, it's a lot of the same artists. Uh, so, Crimes of Passion, number one. This one was 13 bucks. It's uh, Ryan Brown's... You know, I, I really like Ryan Brown's stuff, too. His artwork looks very digital, so I don't know if he does it in Poser and then paints over it. But I like his compositioning. He usually composes images really well. Uh, another fun Nathan Zerdy. We got the Dark Knight Metals 3. Uh... I figure out what I paid on this one. Dark Knight Metals 3. All right, I can't find. I'm trying to find. Oh, okay. I paid 15 and it says for a set of three, I believe. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's some indie stuff you see that you kind of know is trash. It's. Uh, a little bit harder these days just because they put a lot of great you know it's so easy to be an artist with all the tools now that you can have a decent skills but then you use photoshop like different things in photoshop to make it really easy so i think it's a lot easier to make you know respectable nice looking covers if that makes sense um oh no <laughs> i don't want to damage these i'm buying for the covers i don't want to damage them with my fingerprints and stuff if I want to read them, I'll get the cheaper. Because a lot of these originally retailed at 15 to 30 I got them for a great steal. But if I want to read them, I'll get the A covers for like a buck. Hey, well, boar. So, yeah, we got more Nathan Zerdy, uh, Ryan Kincaid, gorgeous books. I'm actually, I'll buy every Zerdy I can find now. I'm just, I'm trying to get them cheaper because a lot of them are kind of expensive. So, yeah, those are three. Uh... It's kind of like lazy, I think, when they reuse artwork and in, in different, like... I feel like it was kind of a cheaper use of the artwork. I'd rather they do new covers. But I still really love these covers. I think they're great. And I bought them for cheap. You know, if I can get stuff on a discount, I'm happy. Uh, okay, this... Dark Red number one, I paid uh, $8 for this one. No, I didn't. No, this was the not the Virgin. Not the Virgin. How much did I pay for the regular one? Or maybe it was a set. Uh, yeah, I paid $5 for that one. Which is, is this the same book I paid, I bought out of the dollar bin? I feel like I grabbed this one for a dollar. <laughs> Which is originally $15. So it wasn't a cheap A cover, but an actual store exclusive. Uh, I don't know where it is in this bin, but I feel like I had grabbed, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the issue I grabbed out of the dollar bin as well. So I might actually have a duplicate of that. Okay, let's flip this over. Uh, oh, a really fun uh, Red Sonia cover. I'm not sure who did that. I'm not familiar. It's uh, Oh, Zerdy worked on it with uh, Savick. So I'm not sure what, who did what. But that's a gorgeous cover. I really like that one. Oh, and that one was uh, 5 bucks. And then New Mutants, Derek Chu cover. I really like Derek Chu as well. He's a little bit too digital, too much maybe poser-ish. But I just, I like it. I think it's a lot of fun. It's, you know, they're like fun, over-the-top a little bit too much digital, but kind of fun covers. And, uh, oh, I'm so disorganized here. It's figure, hard to figure out what I paid for everything. Uh, uh, I don't see it, but, oh, there it is. Five bucks. Five bucks for that one. Five bucks feels like a steal. 
This is, I hadn't seen it before. It's definitely a, kind of a rare exclusive that you probably couldn't find easily normally. Uh, okay, and then we have another bundle here. This looks like a yeah Frank Cho bundle. Which it says I paid 15 for this set. Okay, there we go. Beautiful Frank Cho artwork. I do really like Frank Cho's line work. He does really gorgeous lining. And like all the little like hashtags and stuff. Gorgeous cover. And then we have the uh, color one, which Sabine Rich colored. And I'm a big fan of her coloring as well. I think she just does really nice shading. And her gradients are really good. Another go and she like she emphasizes Frank Cho's line work without destroying it. And I think that works really good to me. And then the full colored version. So all three of those gorgeous books. Really happy to get those. Okay. Do I have yeah, I have another bundle. Well, this was actually a pretty big order, but everything in this order, like this is all amazing stuff that if I saw and whatnot, I'd probably end up paying like 10 bucks a piece easily. Okay. Another big bundle. Big old bundle. All right, so that's the end of that box. Let's get this big old bundle opened. I love it. My friend Alex told me about this sale. I love it when he's like, oh, hey, Sean, you guys see this store is having a sale or that store is having a sale. He really lets me know when there's a really good sale on books, on different like exclusives and whatnot. Because I wouldn't have known if he hadn't messaged me. I feel like sales like this, people, more people need the... It needs to be a more open, or there's got to be like a, maybe there, someone needs to start an Instagram where they post big sales like this all day. Like they do on Funko Pops. There's um, like two or three big Instagram channels where they're constantly posting the newest, hottest uh, Funko Pop sales and drops and stuff. I feel like there needs to be an Instagram where they just post these sales. Because I just like, this is just such a fun, fun sale here. I feel like I got such great books for a great price. Okay, let's see what we got right here. Move that over. Okay, let's see what we got. We got, uh, oh, more of the Starkiller books. I really like these. I think they look cool. This one was five bucks. I think it has a $20 cover price, so five bucks is great. I kind of, I saw the artist at um, five points. He wanted $20 a book. I was thinking about buying them, but I didn't because $20, I just like, I can't spend $20. So when I saw them for $5, I was like, yeah, I'll grab that for five bucks. Is this one? I'm trying to think. There's like... No, I guess that's on the artwork itself. It's just weird. This white marks are kind of an odd... Oh, there's... I like this little black cat hiding right there. That... Oh, man. That's a gorgeous cover. Is that Orion Brown? Now, who did that cover? Let me figure out the artist on that one. Uh, all right. I finished that sheet. Uh, black cat. Takes me a few seconds. Uh, yeah, Brian, Ryan Brown, five bucks. I actually, I, I really like his artwork. I think just, he makes an interesting scene and he composes it really well. Uh, it does look kind of digital, like he might have used Pose or a, a program to create the character a bit. But overall, I think he's really good at composing. So I like his covers a ton. Oh, is this, was this? No, that's a single issue. Okay, what was here? Uh, we have Haha ha number five, the John G. Ang variant. That's such a fun clown cover. That one was uh, was it originally fifty bucks. It's got a fifty dollar retail on that. That seems crazy. I'm assuming no one was buying it if they sold it for five bucks. Uh, they, yeah, I paid five dollars for that. That seems crazy that they originally put retail fifty on it and then they sold it on sale for five. I feel like that's a great price. Like that's a comic I probably wouldn't find normally anywhere. Because who would have bought it and then resold it for for five dollars? You know. Yeah, I five dollars a piece on all these books feels like such an amazing steal. Like I could almost have bought all of them like ten times over and just started selling them on whatnot for ten bucks a piece and probably made a lot of profit on them. Because five dollars is such a great price. Uh, Miles Morales twenty five, awesome Lee and Hook cover. Love that one. Love and Lee and Hook. Nope. I keep thinking it's a double pack. It was just a single one. He's another artist I like collecting. Uh that looks like Ryan Brown as well. Um. Yeah, look how crazy he is. He looks like like killer and over the top and kind of psycho. I think he's cool looking. You know, like, maybe he's a little bit too digital, but I really like just the color and the craziness of it. <laughs> he's not fun as in like, woohoo, he's making blues. It's more like feel like, holy crap, he's going to like murder you kind of like scare fun in the way you like a horror movie fun. 
if if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, Joker 80th anniversary number one, Ryan Brown, awesome cover, absolutely love it. Again, Ryan Brown, I like his composition. I like how everyone is like a uh, zombie version, and the Joker is just like really smiling, and you got the weird uh, wallpaper. Like the overall image just looks really cool. Okay, and then we have. Um, Let's see, Batgirls number one, the Kendrick Lim exclusive. I like all the covers on this series, so it's one I didn't have, so I was happy to add that one to the collection. Uh, oh, how much did I pay? All uh, right. And just in case you guys want to know, you can see, you know, I paid five for that. I paid five for that. I paid five for that. I paid 20 for the set of four. I paid five for that. So you can see that. Almost all these I paid five for. Five, 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 five. So the invoice is all five dollars on those. So those people don't believe me. They're like, you didn't get all that for five dollars. Cause these were retail fifteen to thirty dollars, forty, even fifty dollars for one or two of them. Like that retail on these is crazy. Uh I can't find the back girls. Where was the Batgirls? Batgirls, Batgirls, Batgirls. All right, I'm just assuming I paid five dollars. I don't see on the invoices, but I'm just assuming I paid five bucks for it. Really, really cool cover. Uh oh, and it feels oh, you know what? I might have paid twelve if it was a two pack. Yeah, this was a two pack. So we had the uh, minimal trade version, no, the unmasked version and the masked version. So it was the set of them. Which are really cool. I really like those. So I'm guessing those were 12. Because a lot of the two packs were 12. Uh, okay. And then we have the fun uh, Zerdy Kincaid Harley Quinn punchline cover. Really cute and fun. Uh, that one was 5 bucks. Originally 30 on here. So $5 felt like a steal. And uh, I guess that's everything I got from them. I'm really happy with that. That added a lot of really amazing. Oh no. I have a, another. Oh. I have another whole stack to go through. Okay. Never mind. Let's go through the next big stack. Not all of them. I still have a bunch more to go. Uh, yeah, a few indie comics. I think we had some Ha Ha and some, uh, a few others. And, uh, okay, let's see what we got. I'm going to keep going because we're going to see what we have. I also have three more long boxes from that lot of 3,000 comics about for 300 that we didn't get to last week. But I don't, they're a complete mystery to me, so I don't know what's in those boxes. Uh, oh, we have this really fun Tyler Kirkham Spider-Woman cover with Mobius in the background. That's actually really cool. That one was, uh, oh, I think I finished that. Uh, I guess I'm looking at all these. These were either $5 or, or 12 for two or four for $5 a piece as well. So as a double pack, this one was probably 12 bucks. Yeah, I'm going to stop looking at, because it's, no, yeah, it's 12 bucks for the pair. So basically it was like five for the trade and seven for the virgin which most of these are probably limited to 1500 and 3000 that's kind of the industry standard on these store exclusives um and just imagine i can't imagine a store wanting to order more exclusives than that because that would be like uh, i mean 3000 books selling that many is probably kind of hard for a single store to do okay we have this beautiful uh zerdy punchline it's a homage to um the Oh, um, Mad Love? Is it Mad Love? So, yeah, those beautiful punchline. That one was... Uh, oh, I think I did all those. Where's my invoice? Oh, yeah, the Catwoman double pack was... Uh, no, that we didn't do that one. How much was this one? Punchline... All right, I can't find it on the invoice. It's somewhere on the invoice. But, oh, there it is. 12 bucks for the pair. So, five for... That one and seven for that one, basically. Which they originally had it retail at 50 and I'm sure a lot of people bought it for $50. Uh, Harley Quinn 75, another Zerdy Kincaid cover. Beautiful cover. That one was most likely five, unless it was, yeah, it was five if it was a single. Uh, the Black Cat 1 Ryan Brown Virgin variant. Man, that cover is gorgeous. I actually really, really like that one. Uh, I don't know if he charged more for the single Virgin, because I just see five for the... Uh, trade dress one and I don't see the other one on the invoice so I'm not 100% sure what that one was unless they like added it in or something uh no it says I paid 13 for the set 
which on here, oh yeah, I paid 13 cents. So I, for this one with the thing, so I paid seven for this one. Very gorgeous cover. Absolutely love that cover. I think it's spectacular. I love the little cats. Uh, oh, okay. I must have bought one separately for five and then the set for 13. That's why I'm confused. Um, hey, Anthony, that's amazing. I'm kind of sad I missed out, but my, my budget for buying comics is so low right now. I just couldn't make it this weekend. I'm awesome. I'm hoping you sold a whole bunch load. Oh, yeah. Those are gorgeous. What gorgeous books are these? And, uh, Dante, did you pick up anything amazing? I'm just curious what you found. I'm sure you found something while you were there. Uh, okay, we have Vampirella 7, a really beautiful cover. This one was... Uh, oh, this was limited to 500 pieces for 5 bucks. How cool is that? I don't. It doesn't have a certificate, but it says a limit. Oh, there's a wraparound cover. Actually, let's look at that one. Let's pull it open and look at it. Oops, I gotta make sure I'm getting into my, uh, my, uh, I want, Anthony, would you like to join my stream? Like, I'm wondering if I could, you could be my test subject and show some of the things, unless you're tired. I mean, I'm sure it's been a really crazy long weekend, three day weekend, but I, I want to figure out a way to do some streams with people to share collections and stuff. Okay. Oh, I missed getting into that giveaway. I missed it. Okay, let's look. So that's the back cover. I mean, that's the front cover, and that's the back cover. So that's really fun. It's a fun wraparound book. Five bucks felt like such a steal in that. All right. Why can't I get... Oh, it's a buyer giveaway. That's why I can't get into that giveaway. <laughs> like, why can't I get into this giveaway? Uh, oh, Jesus, awesome. I'm happy you, you got me in my second time. I did uh, another stream on my walking channel, too. You got to follow my walking channel if you want to get all three streams. I did a two-hour walk this morning. Oh, and I bought that. Maybe I bought that one separately as well. I must have bought... Yeah, that one says I paid five, which it says it was 2500 of that one. Uh, Indie Key Comics, you just got to meet people that are willing to sell you comics for a good price when they clear them out. A lot of vendors will... After they sell in all their different spots, if they have a lot of stuff left over, they'll end up selling it for uh, cheap just to get rid of it, to make room, because uh, people just keep on, you know, just collections are available. Like Streetside, I think he has fifty or 60,000 comics he's trying to sell relatively cheap, but, like, it's a lot of comic books. So it's not $0.10 cents a piece. It's probably, like, $0.40 cents a piece. But again, tens of thousands of extra comics. So just they kind of pile up. When you buy collections and you sell... You end up with a lot of stuff that you just need to clear out cheap. So you make it's it's about being an awesome person to people and being respectful and making connections and buying a lot of stuff and just doing things right with people. And then people find you to sell you stuff. I mean that's what happens to me. People sell me stuff all the time. Uh, okay, we have a beautiful Derek Chu punchline, which was five bucks, I believe. Like right now, I think. Um, the Midtown Comic Outlet sells indie boxes, so a long box of indie books for 40 bucks. So that's uh about a little bit more than three hundred dollars for three thousand, maybe like five hundred for three thousand, but still that's like in a retail setting. Also, Mr. Roboto Roboto, thank you. Yeah, anyone who doesn't follow me on Pop Walks, I just I get my steps in every day and I have fun chats with everybody. I try to tell stories, I answer questions or talk about nerdy subjects if you want me to. And I really enjoy the walk channel. And so amazing. So many of you guys hang out with me. So if you don't follow me there yet, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs. So I do really appreciate it if you jump over the link and you, you sub up. Because it's uh, it just it brings me so much joy. Uh, no KRS boxes this week. I'm actually um, I'm kind of out of cash for a while until I catch up with everything. So right now I am working on the main channel to get more pop sold. And I'm trying to rebuild up my comic buying. Like I'm trying to clear out more of my collection. So I can rebuild up my, um, you know, stash of cash so I can get back to buying. But it's everything's going pretty good right now. So I have a good feeling that sometime soon I'll be back at it going crazy. Uh, how much did I pay for this Harley? So I'm, I always forget this artist's name. But I thought this was a really fun Harley book. And uh, uh, I don't see it on my list. But I'm assuming I paid five bucks for it. Thank you, Tina. Oh, all right. oh, and that's... 
Oh, it's no, it's a whole lot. So I probably oh I see the lot now. It's a lot. That's why I'm confused. So the lot uh, is three books. I just saw it a second ago. Uh three books for fifteen bucks. So five dollars a book still. Three dollars a book. And honestly, I think if I said, Hey Anthony, can you put together a, a bunch of indie books like 80s and random indie books for like 10 cents a piece i have a feeling he would be able to do that for me just like to clear out some of the cheaper stuff or maybe not 10 cents but maybe 20 cents you know something like that like that you just all you have to do is you have to find comic vendors that occasionally want to clear out big bulk amount of stuff for a cheap price yeah i figure anthony after three days you're probably exhausted Oh, see, look, Anthony got 10 boxes for three. So so he got 3,000 books that didn't cost $300. It cost nothing. But that's the kind of person Anthony is. Anthony is an awesome person. Uh, uh, not yet. Uh, Allison's going to try to price them tomorrow. So I'll have them for um, the Whatnot show. When I do the Whatnot show, I should have them available. Uh, oh, wow. This set was $65 originally. I don't know how... Uh, limited they are they're kendrick limb variants but they're they're really 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 cute and it was 15 dollars for a set five dollars each that seems like such a uh a steal on those amazing amazing books beautiful beautiful books uh oh and then we had the really awesome zordi miracle molly first appearance batman 108 and uh oh we got both of them in there oh you're very welcome all right well board take care uh, I'm going to try to go for at least two hours tonight. I, if you guys have questions or have things for me to talk about, I would love to chat. I'd love to go at least two hours. If we can do a little bit more, that would be awesome. I'm trying to go through the most fun stuff first. Uh, okay, Batman 1 and 8. Both different uh, Zerdy covers. I think these covers are awesome. Really love them overall. Just I like the color choices of Miracle Molly. I think she looks awesome. Uh, those were 13 bucks for the pair. So seven for one, five for the other. And, uh, okay, so that was it for that collection. That was uh, for store exclusives. I actually think that was a great price. I think those are some amazing, amazing books. Uh, okay, I am... Oops, I need to get another short box to put these in. That's the thing, when you buy so many comics, you need short boxes. Okay, so I have a box here from Donald. We're going to open up this box really quick. And then I'm going to open up the um, original artwork from a uh, Katie Keene issue. Like a really... The artwork I got, it was a ad page for some Katie Keene cards you could send away for. And so it's like six or seven images of Katie Keene in fun different outfits. I think it's such a cool page. And I think it was under 500 bucks or like right around 500 bucks. So, you know, not cheap. But for what it is, I think I got it for a great price. Because on Heritage, I saw a bunch of her other pages going for like 1000 to 1200 So I didn't think I would have a chance to get it. So when I won it for the winning bid, it was like 3 something to 4 ish And then after the buyer's premium and all that, it was around 500 And, uh, okay, we just gotta... Okay. Donald packaged these up really well. And I believe it should be another 50 or so. I think we're doing 50 at a time. I'll count them up to double check. Uh, but yeah, these are so stinking dope. So, you know, what these are is back in the day for newspapers, they would, um, uh, uh, yeah, all right, giveaway. There we go. They would print out the weekly's comics on the pages. So let me pull these out. They would send these pre-printed uh, pages so this is from 1985 so this would have been all six dailies for the week of december 30th 1985 they would send these out to the newspaper and then the newspaper would use these to reproduce them so that's the week that doesn't include sunday so just the weekly so monday through friday plus sunday so they would send those out they would reproduce these and then usually these would just be thrown out away so i don't know of any of these existing other than the ones donald had uh, his dad worked for a newspaper when he was a kid. So one day he told his dad, he's like, do you get these kind of things? And his dad said, yes. So what he did was he told his dad to start bringing them home. So he started bringing them home from all kinds of different comic strips. And he ended up having just a whole stack of Ziggy ones. So I probably about 
seven or eight years ago, I was bidding on these uh, uh, from with against. Um, uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Debbie. Debbie. No, not. Yeah, I think it was Debbie. No. Oh, I'm drawing a blank on her name. I feel. Oh no, Lori. Lori. That's it. I was bidding against uh, Lori on these, and like we were kind of like comic Ziggy rivals bidding against each other. This is uh, December twenty third. Oh, this is the Christmas one. Wow, this is that one's freaking dope. So we were bidding against each other, and she kept beating me at like ten to fifteen dollars a piece. So eventually, I gave up. I stopped bidding against her, and then she won a bunch more, or maybe like ten more for like two bucks. Uh, I found out it was Donald selling them. So he was the only person selling these over the last 20 years. And so when he told me about them, I'm like, dude, I used to buy or try to buy those from there. So we agreed. I'm giving him $2 a piece in trade, maybe $3 a piece. It really depends. I kind of was, um, I gave him, I think about $3 or you know what it was? I was giving $2 a piece, but I was giving him books for three and just charging him $2 basically. So I believe this should be 50 of them and I'm going to give him $100 worth of books. And this week I'm giving him uh, probably Jonah Hex books and um, some of the Master of Kung Fu's I think he wanted. But these are so freaking cool. How cool is this? This is like the coolest way I think to have the art without having the original art. If you have the original art, then obviously that's even cooler because the original art's going to cost uh, whew, at this rate probably about 150 for each one. And 1985 is probably... No, I started really getting into Ziggy in 83, I think. 83, and then by 85, I was like a huge... Like, Ziggy was a huge part of my life by 85. So these are amazing. These are right in my wheelhouse of when I loved them the most as a kid. And these are just... These are spectacular. Like, how freaking cool are these? And just the fact that he saved them all these years. Uh, and that these are probably some of the last ones left on the planet. I can't imagine many of these still existing. Like, I have a feeling there's very, very little, if any, of these at all. So this is just, like, pure joy to me. These are so stinking cool. Um, so, yeah, this is my second batch. You sent me a batch two weeks ago, I think. Two or three weeks ago. So this is a second batch of 50. I basically told him I want to do, like, 50 at a time. Just because I don't want to get so overwhelmed. Because I don't know if I can find, you know, $5,000 worth of stuff for him each time. But finding him, like, a $100 package to send his way is perfect. That's definitely the, uh, yeah, December 85. Yeah, there might, might be a duplicate. I'm not paying attention to the cartoons so much. I'm just looking at the dates. But yeah, oh, these are so stinking cool. Absolutely love these. Uh, oh, these are fun. Black and white ones or like where he colored in the back September 85. So yeah, this might be most of all of 1985 right here. Which I'm guessing he must have had these sorted by year and by date possibly. So I got to make sure they get back in order when I'm done. You know, like this one looked like it was folded a little bit. So this one was probably used a bit more. But still, it's still there. It's still complete. That's amazing. Maybe they mailed it to them folded that week. Man, I just, I love production stuff like this. I have in my collection, I have one uh, printing plate. So it has the Ziggy cartoon and a bunch of other cartoons on it. And it's like a big chunk of metal. It's absolutely amazing. If you ever get a chance to buy a printing plate for one of your favorite comics, buy it. Because printing plates are just some of the coolest artifacts you can get in, from the printing process. I think it's so freaking cool. Oh, hey, David. Okay, I'm not going to go through all these. I don't want to bore you guys to death with Ziggy. But I just I thought these were super, super awesome. And... Um, yeah, I'm going to bag and board these for sure. I might have to unfold them and get bigger like poster holders. So basically, I need to find a uh, like a top loader that is that size. So like a double page size. And then I'll put those all in that because these are awesome. I do. I was or I had a goal of trying to collect every single Ziggy cartoon printed ever in actual printed format. And uh, but I almost prefer these than the um, newspaper printed ones. I love doing the dollar bin hauls too because it is, it's way more affordable, but it's still super fun. And it's super fun to find the kind of value you can get. Because sometimes you can find $20 books for a dollar or like some five to $10 books for a dollar. Dollar bin diving is one of the most fun joys you can have in comic collecting. Now, a lot of, some people want bigger books. So they don't want a dollar bin dive, but you, I, to me, 
I, I just find it fun. Oh, so your dad ended up sorting all of them. So they are, so each one of these bundles was uh, a year worth or like a couple months worth. I feel like they're in order by date. So yeah, Donald, these are amazing. I'm like, ah, uh, like this is amazing. How many were in each of these packs? Oh, that's just a single one. Uh, February 7th. But yeah, I love getting stuff like this from people that worked in the industry back in the day. So Donald, this is a piece of history that I absolutely enjoy. Thank you so much for the trade. I just, it's awesome. I think it's, it's the kind of stuff that just as a collector, whenever you get stuff like that, you're like, oh, wow, this is amazing. It's not the kind of stuff you find every day. So beautiful, beautiful stuff. And I'm guessing, Donald, this was 50, correct? I believe that was 50. So I owe you another $100 or so in value. Uh, okay, let's open up the Katie Keene page. This is going to be a lot of fun. So this is one of my last hurrahs before I decided I can't spend any more money. <laughs> this was like, I spent 500 bucks and I was like, you know what? I, I just can't do it anymore. This is it until I, uh, I sell enough to kind of restock my cash. My goal is to pay off all my credit cards and then get another like 10,000 or so ready to go so I can keep buying comics. And I'm also right now I'm doing a uh, crazy amount of comic book sorting so that I can pull out lots of duplicates. Oh, it's on the notes. Okay, cool. Thank you, Donald. I really appreciate the notes as well. That makes my life a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm i going to do about a month of dollar bin digging, I think, where I try to get enough comics. Like, like maybe 500 comics a week. So I'm spending still hundreds of dollars, but not thousands of dollars. So I can keep doing big, long Sunday night streams because I actually really enjoy this. Or I might just spend... You know, a couple weeks where we just do some collection tours where I just pull an artist box or two. Like, if you guys want to see, like, a Mark Andelfo box or a, a Nick Cardi box, and I just pull out a whole bunch of stuff from one artist, then we just work on that. That's something that maybe I'll do in the next few weeks. Okay, I'm just trying to get this box open. Heritage auctions. Yeah, it was five twenty five sixty nine total with all the fees. Because uh, the winning bid, it was 380 but then there was a $76 buyer premium a $26.84 service charge. That's for, I think, the credit card processing and uh, sales tax. So $526. They add so many fees on it. It's crazy. A really nice shipping box, though. They definitely are uh, a professional auction house because you can just tell the way they ship stuff is so professional. Okay, let's look at this thing. I, I'm going to go to widescreen. Okay, there we go. Let's get this up a little bit higher. Because I'm probably going to have to hold this up and show you guys. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, four sheets of cardboard. They No, five sheets of cardboard. Oh, there it is. I feel it. I feel it. Five sheets of cardboard and a sorted box really well packed. Wow. Oh, that is so dope. Okay, so I feel like, I think these are just photocopies. And then this is all new original art. So this was probably used from a previous version. But, oh, wow, this page is so cool looking. Are we back? Are we back? We're back. All right. I accidentally turned off my phone for a second. <laughs> so this is uh, Katie King Pin Up Parade, number five, page 19. So you have this beautiful art of her. Where she's in like an old timey outfit. And her, she's just in like a fashionable shirt. She's talking about the miniature cards. Which I guess I need to track these cards down. Here she's reading a letter about them. And then here we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little cards that are absolutely stunning. I really, really want to get all of those. That, and then uh, you have a cute picture of her. And here you basically, you would cut this out of your comic book... And you'd write your name and address and you'd send a dime and you'd get this set of cards. I actually have to track down that card. But this page is gorgeous. I, people have been asked, or some people ask me, like, when you're done with Katie Keene, what do you do? Like, how do you continue to uh, collect Katie Keene? And I'm just like, you start collecting the original artwork. You don't buy, you buy like one every few months. You don't go, you know, at $500 a piece, most people can't even afford that once every, like once a year even. But like, David, if you decide, if you get all the Deadpool comics... You could probably start buying original pages for a few hundred bucks. You know, that kind of thing. You just start getting original artwork. And uh, to me, that is just a treasure because it's a one-of-a-kind thing. Hey, Nicholas. 
yeah, that page is cool. So that's my fourth original Katie Keen page. I have four. There's one other I bid on, but the other one went for almost double the price. So I was just like, ah, I can't afford that. But this page is great because I love that it has so much different little images of her on it. I think it's such a gorgeous page. Okay, I'm going to throw this cardboard to the side. Okay, let's see. Okay, um... Let's go back down to the table. All right, I got a couple of whatnot purchases we'll go through. Oh, you know what I have? I have two more of those semi-mystery boxes from uh, eBay. That I, I have the one that was missing from last time. They Oh, that's the wrong button. That's my James Rona shirt. Okay, there we go. Let me... Um, well, let's go through those, because those were actually lots of fun last time. I actually had a blast going through those. Okay, also have a couple of whatnot pages. Okay, what's this? Oh, I printed out. Okay. All right. I got two boxes. Let's. I printed out what the auction pictures look like. Okay. So I showed these last time. I but couldn't find. So. I just bought this lot because I saw the Destroyer Duck sitting there. I was like, I need to buy that. You know, that's 20 to 40 bucks if it's in decent shape. Uh, it has some cool indie Eclipse books in it. It had uh, Alien Encounters, which some of those ha get kind of pricey. So I'm hoping some of the pricey ones are kind of hidden. Because sometimes in these lots, they don't show everything. Like, I have a feeling there might be a couple books that they didn't show. Which I'm kind of hoping there's a little bit of a mystery. If not, uh, the Destroyer Duck alone was worth a lot because I paid... Uh, Let's see, I paid 44 total. It's $28 plus 16 shipping. So 44 total for the lot. The Sawyer Duck alone is worth 20 to 40. So that almost pays for everything. Everything else is a bonus. I think it's gonna be a fun. Excuse me. I think it's gonna be a real fun lot. Let's go through it and see if I uh you know if I found anything else of value hidden in that pile. I kind of like buying lots like this. This is from the um I believe the Seattle Goodwill on eBay. So I kind of like buying from the Goodwill because it's not a collector. So it would have been whatever the person donated. So it could be just a really random assortment of stuff. And it's like 40 bucks for a whole big pile of comics, including one that's one of my favorite key issues. And the fact that there might be a little bit of a mystery or something added that I didn't see makes this a really fun lot for me. I love stuff like this. This is It's always fun to me when I get a little bit of a mystery lot like this. Which last week was, you know, super awesome because I got all those really cool indie books. So I'm kind of looking for more lots like this because I think this is another thing I can afford a little bit each week just so I can keep these live streams going because I actually, I have so much fun doing this. Okay, let's go. We have some, uh... oh, there it is. All right, I feel like I need the bag and board it. All right, it looks, it's got a little bit of a crease here. It looks like it's probably a mid-grade, like a fine. So even a fine though, I think is maybe 20 bucks. So that's half the value right there. So I'm actually, you know, I'm not disappointed in that. It's not terrible. It's not mint. But for the price I paid, I paid probably a dollar a comic book, maybe a little bit less than a dollar. That was actually really good. Anyway, I gotta, gotta see. Do I have bags and boards available? Is that, no, that's magazine. No, I don't have an open package. Okay, I gotta just make sure I bag and board that before I jam it in a box and crumple it up. Don't want to do that. Okay, let's uh, go through the lot here. Uh, okay, I'm still here, right? I didn't get disconnected. Someone say hello, Sean, or something. I just want to make sure that I didn't, when I disconnected, I didn't lose the stream. Because I think it's still going. I, uh, sometimes it gets so quiet, I don't know if I lost the stream or not. I guess I should check, uh, I should, oh, I hope I didn't lose the stream when the phone, I accidentally hit the phone off. Uh, uh YouTube. I'm going to make sure I'm like, uh, oh, I was still going. Okay. I got confused. I didn't hear anyone talking. Okay. We're still going. Okay, good. I was afraid there for a second. I, um, Sometimes the stream just ends and I'm, I'm still like when I'm on the walking channel, it disconnects for a second, then it reconnects. But then I keep talking 
and uh, I just don't know. <laughs> okay, see, all right, let's go through these. So we have a lot of Eclipse books, which are fun. Uh, Black Belt Hamsters, number two. I do really like that kind of stuff. It's the kind of stuff that I'm actively collecting at the moment. Uh, Countdown Mystery. Uh, Alien Encounters, number 14. That's actually a really awesome cover. I don't think I have that one. I don't think this one is a super expensive one. But I um I think this one is actually pretty awesome. Yeah, that one's really cool. I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, Mr. Monsters True Crime number two. Uh oh, um, I have my uh, son's phone next to me, and his friends are tagging him or messaging him. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I don't mind you guys being quiet when I'm actually going through books. Uh, Somerset Holmes number six. Uh, Spaced, number 12. Actually, there's a lot of really, really funny clip stuff in here. I'm actually really happy these are in here. Uh, Spaced, number 10. Uh, Area 8819. I do like collecting this anime stuff as well. Uh, Swords of Texas, number 2. Swords of Texas, number 1. Area 88, number 15. Uh, Area 88, number 16. Uh... Hot Spur number three. Hot Spur number two. I actually think I need a lot of this for my Eclipse runs. So this is actually a lot of fun. Number one. Uh, Brian Boland's Black Book. Number one. I haven't heard of this, but I got to open it. If it's Brian Boland artwork. Oh, hey, gay JB. I didn't realize that was you who said you were still here. Uh, this is... Okay. Is this is all full of Brian Boland artwork. Oh, wow. Okay. I think it is. This looks like his style. Oh, wow. This is a really, really cool comic book. Wow. Oh, man. If I had pulled this out of a dollar bin, I would have been thrilled. So getting in a lot like this is amazing. This is really cool. Okay. Really happy with that. We got John Bolton Halls of Horror. That sounds actually really cool. Uh, Lost Planet number three. It's got a uh, tentacle cover. Oh, the interior artwork is gorgeous in this thing, too. That is beautiful. Uh, oh, oh, okay. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. We got a winner. True Love number one, a Dave Stevens cover. I bet this is a 20. Even though it's got a little bit of wear, this is probably like a $20 book. Wow. Okay, we got two key issues in that lot. Amazing. I bet some of these other ones have some value, too, though. Um, yeah, the clips. I like the clips comics. They have such great artwork and and they're just interesting and different. John Bolton, Halls of Horror number one. That's really cool. Okay, this lot is turning out to be really awesome. Really enjoying it. And then the one book some people like to make fun of me is when I collect My Little Pony books. But you know what? I don't mind those either. I think they're kind of fun. I think they'll be uh, collectible down the road as well, just because of how popular they were when these came out. We got that. We got uh, My Little Pony Micro Series number three. Number six. What a weird, odd mix of books. We have really cool Eclipse and then My Little Pony books. Oh, this is super cool. So we have Little Nemo number one. Uh, not sure who did the artist, but I love the original um, Windsor McKay stuff. So these like reissue. Or re oh, there's two issues too. Let's see. I know the, in the Eclipse stuff is amazing. There you go, Indie Key Comics. We did have some cool... Um, Indie stuff mixed in here in this haul. Oh, yeah, we have two issues. So two different versions of number one. Those are cool. And it has a little bit of the Windsor McKay on the like the background. So that's really cool. We have number three. I kind of like the movie, too. They did a movie on, um, I believe, Netflix. And I actually kind of liked it. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Let me go through this. But I see some Ashley Wood stuff. Oh, wow. This lot is turning out to be a lot more fun than I thought. And I already thought it was pretty fun. So Little Nemo 2 and 3, those are super cool. But then we have Tank Girl uh, Ashley Wood cover. Absolutely love Ashley Wood artwork. Uh, interior is pretty fun too. It's not Ashley Wood, but still pretty cool. That's a cool book. And then My Little Pony 68. And uh, Greatest Hits number 1. Uh, Transformers book. Another My Little Pony book. So that's what, like, the My Little Pony is just, like, free stuff. Not what I was going after, but... Honestly, the Dave Stevens and the Destroyer Duck one alone is worth the 40 bucks I paid. So everything else is a free bonus. Uh, we got the last Ronin, issue three. So that's a really cool. I don't think I had that one yet. So I'm actually really happy you picked that up. All right. And we're still going. We still have probably about 20 more books, 15 more books. 
it is, it is really, really, really fun to just show all kinds of stuff. That's why, I mean, that's why I like to do on my channel. I like to just explore all kinds of areas of books. We can have modern keys, modern schluck, modern variants that are beautiful, uh, vintage books, indie books, all kinds of stuff. Because, you know, what? I love just the medium of comics. I like it all. It doesn't have to be all Spider-Man for me to love it, which I do love Spider-Man. But yeah, it's always fun to see a whole bunch of different books. But I, I'm having so much fun buying these random lots on eBay. I think I need to try to find a few each week just to spice up the stream. Because this is actually really fun for me. Uh, Godzilla Rivals. It's signed by Rosie Knight. Oh, that is cool. So this one's signed by the artist or author. I'm not sure who Rosie Knight is. But her name's on the cover and she signed it. Oh, and that's Oliver Ono. Oh, both of them signed it. Oh, that is really cool. We got a double signed book. Okay, neat. Um, oh, that's cool. It's the same artist as Lock and Key. Okay, that's really neat to know, actually, Gimlick. I like the Lock and Key stuff. Um, Star Wars Adventures. It's a Loot Crate exclusive. Oh, and it's kind of damaged. Okay, I'll skip over that. Oh, a Jenny Freeze and Angel cover. That is actually really cool. Uh, Doctor Who comic. A couple Doctor Who comics. Uh, Last Ronin, number three. Okay, that's cool. Or The Lost Years, number two. I didn't know those were in there, so those are pretty cool. Uh, Star Wars Adventures Annual 2018. Those are actually... I like the kitty kind of comics. Uh, Star Wars Adventures 2019. Three. Okay, those are pretty cool. Uh, okay, we have one more stack of about 10 to go. Let's go see what else we got in this slot. This slot is turning out to be really fantastic, though. Uh, Supermarket issue number one. Beowulf. Uh, based on the screenplay by Neil Gaiman. Uh, Milo Pony sketch variant. Oh, there's a bunch in this pack. All right, let's see what's in this pack. I don't know of any value off the top of my head to the My Little Pony stuff, but I wouldn't be surprised if some of these have a bit of value. Uh, My Little Pony 62. Okay, a couple in there. Put that back in the bag. Uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic 47, 84. These ones are rough. You can tell a kid owned these ones. 83. Uh, 24, My Little Pony, the movie prequel number two. Whoops, there's a couple in there. All right, let's see what's in here. Okay, and then uh, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic number one. Uh, I don't know if this is the actual number one or like a mini series. Uh, no, it says number two, second printing. That's so weird that it says number one on the cover. So I don't know if that's like a weird error. Um, this is a really fun gen cover. I like this is, um, I want to say Maria Roboto. I know her last name is Roboto. I forget her first name, but I really like her artwork. It's really cute and whimsical. So I'm actually really happy to get that. Uh, and gem number four. Oh, I also, I kind of really love gem in the eighties. There's a cartoon I really enjoyed. And I think this is also Roboto. Um, very cute covers. Okay. That lot was amazing. I think I got a lot of really cool stuff in there and I got the two key issues of value that are ones I'm thrilled to have. The Destroyer Duck, even though I have like 10 copies, I don't mind another one. And True Love number one, I'm not 100% sure if I have this one here yet. And I love Dave Stevens a ton, so that's amazing. Two really amazing books, and then a whole pile of kind of fun stuff. Okay, really happy with that. I feel like that's a win. That's how you win on eBay. You buy random lots that you notice a few things of value that there might be more stuff kind of hiding, and that makes it fun. Uh, okay, so this was another box. This was from the same Goodwill. Uh, this one, I didn't take pictures. This is just anime stuff or manga. It's just manga. Just 80s manga, but I love 80s manga. Uh, this one I got for, uh, I wrote the price, 10 bucks plus 16 shipping. So it's 26 total for about 40 books. So I paid about 75 cents a book. There's also two manga books, which is another reason why I kind of bought this. I kind of want to buy more manga. And one was uh, Bakuman, I believe. Which I'm watching the anime with my son. We watched, I think, two episodes so far. We're slowly watching it. Just like one here or there. But it's a story of a uh, a kid and his friend who wanted to start doing manga. But the the kid's father was a, like a semi-famous but not like super successful manga artist who died as a young man. So like in, he inherits his uncle's... Uh, uh, apartment to start doing manga in so i thought that was really cool so i thought like that book alone i might have just picked up by itself for five or ten bucks so i just that was like a little added but yeah that's uh this one right here it's 
not in English. It looks like it's the actual uh, Japanese version, but I just wanted to get it as an object. So I, I probably won't read it because it's in Japanese. I don't know Japanese, but I just had interest in it because I am like in the series. Like this girl, he has a crush on and she wants to become a voice actress. So he like accidentally kind of proposes to her to um, like, and she agrees that she'll marry him once they both become successful. It was really cute. That looks really cute. I'm actually really happy to get that. And then uh, I did another Japanese language manga. I'm not sure what this is. But yeah, that would just go into my Japanese language collection that I can't read. <laughs> I mean, you can use translation software, but it's not, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to go crazy buying those unless I get really gum cheap, basically. All right, I got to find another um, whatnot room to try to... Uh, Enter a few more giveaways while we're going through all this stuff. Okay, now we're going to go through the lot. I think the rest of this lot is all 80s manga reprints. Which, at like 75 cents a piece, I'm actually really happy to get a whole lot of these. I think they're really cool. Uh, okay, when they, so we got uh, Ninja High School number 18 from the artist on Captain Harlock. That's a funny way to sell it. Uh, and I don't know if any of these have any value, but they could. Oh, this is Chinese? Oh, maybe it is a Chinese translation. Oh, yeah, it's all the, um, what'd you call it? The kanji? Ah, but it does have, I mean, isn't that, Ch I feel like there's a couple, I saw a few, but I guess that is Chinese. Interesting. Yeah, I don't really recognize the characters. One. Okay, very interesting. How about this one? Is this one in Chinese? Both are Chinese. Okay, so that's even more weird. So I have a weird Chinese translation on these, but that's fun. Because I like the property. Getting the Chinese version is actually kind of neat. Kind of neat. Very cool. Okay, Ninja High School number 12. Whereas this stuff I can read because this is all the English translations from the 80s. But I like the 80s manga stuff because I just really like the artwork. I think it's really beautiful. I love the line work. I like how black and thick the lines are and stuff. I think it just looks really, really fun. Uh, number 13. Number 12. Number 14. Oh, uh, D-Man, I am. It's on my to-do list. I didn't figure it out yet, but I'm going to try to do it because I need to uh, actually make graphic art for the um, all the little buttons and stuff. So, yeah, that's on my list. I might actually work on that tonight. I meant to do it the other night when we talked about it. I just never got around to it. Um, and today, i just been doing all the... Uh, I've been streaming all day today. This is my third stream of the day. <laughs> I am trying to get everyone to go on to the walking channel. Subscribe me there. Once I get to 1,000... Then my mind can be off of promoting that and I'll just walk and have it be what it is and just let it grow on its own. And then I can start focusing a lot more on uh, the comic channel and the main channel. Uh, these are super awesome. I'm actually really happy. They're not in the best shape, but for 75 cents, I'm actually really happy to get all these Ninja High Schools. These are really, really cool. I love that cover too. That's cool. And uh, interior artwork is gorgeous. What a great looking comic book. I love that. That is awesome. Okay, we got more. I don't know if there's anything of a surprise in here. I think it's all stuff I noticed that I um I just thought, you know what, for the price it was it was a ten dollar auction. I basically won the whole auction for ten dollars plus shipping, but the shipping was sixteen bucks. So it wasn't super cheap overall. But per issue, it was just I thought it was worth getting. Because these ninja high schools to me are really, really fun. And this is like a huge chunk of the collection, it looks like. Yeah, these are super fun. I really, really like these. Oh, that's a fun cover. I like that. These are super cool. Uh, I don't know if there's anything other than Ninja High School. It might just be a whole bunch of Ninja High School, which I wasn't, like, paying attention, I guess. Yeah, I think that's why we started, because my son absolutely loved Death Note. So he's like, oh, let's start this series. So we're, we're watching, like, when we run out of other things to watch, we watch an episode, take it in, really enjoy it. And then uh, just, you know, we're going to eventually get through all of it. I really want to get into a lot more uh, anime and manga, though. I want to spend a lot more time with it. Because I really enjoy it. This one's a bit water damaged. Which is sad, but that's okay. It happens. But yeah, Death Note is a classic. Uh, Shuriken number one. So we got a couple of these in there. It's the artwork on these. Oh yeah, artwork's pretty good on these. I enjoy it. That's cool. Uh, Broid. I actually haven't heard of this one, but that looks really cool. Uh, Eternity Smith, that just looks like a kind of schlocky 80s comic. Oh, Captain Harlock. I really like Captain Harlock. I like the character design and whatnot. 
Oh, yeah. It looks really cool inside. Okay, that is really neat. Uh, Trouble with Girls, 15. Shuriken, 6. Uh, Shuriken, 3. Robotech 2, The Sentinels. Uh, Robotech 2, The Sentinels, number 4. That was number 2. This is uh, number 6. Uh, number 3. Robotech 2, The Sentinels, number 5. Number 6. Number 7. Number 8. And number 9. So no, like, surprise amazingness in those, but they were fun. I enjoyed that lot. Not quite as cool as the other lot, but I definitely, I think I'm going to be trying to find more of this kind of stuff. Just, you know, it's fun. It's fun going through these on video with you guys. Just like, you know, get kind of fun, random, interesting, not sure what I'm going to get kind of lots. Because it makes it fun for me. It's like Christmas morning. Especially when you find a Dave Stevens book hiding in the piles. Uh, okay, let's see what I got. Let's see, I have... This was a Comics Elite package from whatnot. I paid $8 for this book. Uh, I bought it just so I had a chance to get into their buyer's giveaway. I didn't win their buyer's giveaway. But for me, I felt like they had some really good buyer's giveaway prizes. So it was kind of worth the gamble. And uh, yeah, Robotech is great. I love Robotech. That's one of those cartoons I remember watching at my friend's house in the 80s. Falling in love with it and not figuring out what it was for like four more years. It drove me crazy. And then one day I figured out what it was. And I was like, damn it. I could have spent four years enjoying this stuff. Um, so yeah, I probably this is probably a $4 book. Uh, really cool though. I didn't have it yet. Really beautiful Jenny Friesen virgin variant. Um, yeah, buying all. I mean, I, I would buy it all too. I would love to put the full set together. Uh, so I paid four dollars plus shipping, so it was like eight bucks. Uh, I don't know if that's a good price. I think it's just a four dollar issue, but I'm happy with it. It's really cool, and sometimes it's worth you know entering in these giveaways just for a chance because I think they were giving away like uh, you know what it was they were giving away video game systems that day. So I bought that so that I had a chance to win. They gave away a Switch, a PS5, and a a Xbox. I didn't win them, but. You know, it was worth paying $8 for a chance to win them, right? Because it's like two or 300 people entering each time. So, you know, it's like a 3% chance of winning something huge. I was like, yeah, I'm willing to take that gamble. Sometimes I'm willing to gamble a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm on... You've, I've seen you on Whatnot, Salty Deadpool. I'm on Whatnot all the time. You, 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 you've spent hours and days with me on Whatnot. Oh, oh, you mean am I on Whatnot right now? Yeah, I'm on Whatnot right now. Uh, <laughs> did I win something? Did I, did I win something? I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, did I did I win something? Yeah, I didn't win anything yet. Yeah, but yeah, I'm on whatnot right now. Did you see me in one of the rooms? I'm trying to win. I, I'm trying to win 50 times on whatnot. So I'm doing a lot of multitasking this week. Ooh, I can't show just in case there's some nudity on one of these channels. But I'm trying to enter in as many contests as I can. So that I can win 50 times. And now I'm going to do a video on how you can win a bunch of cool stuff and whatnot. You don't have to buy stuff. You can just sign up. If you use my uh, referral link that I have in the video's description, you can get $15 off your first purchase. But you can also just sign up and not buy anything. Don't have to buy a, a penny. Don't have to buy anything. But yeah, this is... Like, I play video games entering. I play... Uh, uh, I live stream. I enter... I do all kinds of whatnotting these days. Uh, there isn't any good rooms that are giving away stuff. Oh, here we go. I found Skeff's Comics. Shout out to Skeff's Comics. I don't know who they are, but they have a giveaway right now. Oops, and I just hit the wrong button. I closed the window. Closed the window. Oh, Murky Dino. Oh, that's fun. I mean, you know, like a $5 dime, but still cool. Getting free stuff is super fun. Again, free stuff is, is, is uh, I don't know. I get a joy. I mean, I, I love buying stuff. I love buying getting stuff for a good deal. But I also like winning stuff. Winning stuff is super cool. And uh, and my wife was getting into it as well. Allison started entering me. So she's won a few times. She's like, hey, Sean, I won you another thing. Because we're, you know, we're trying to get uh, the full. Oh, Calcha Comics is on. I bought from him a few times, actually. He's pretty cool. I like him. Uh, I can't. All right, let me show you something instead of trying to f find. I can't find any rooms to win stuff right now. I think uh, uh, the internet is not connected very well to this phone down here. Wait, Notorious Hobbies is on. They're probably giving something away. They're always giving something away. Okay, so this was a. Um... Oh, this is Prize Comics. I wasn't planning on buying anything, but he had a really, really 
good auction up that uh, I bought it. I paid $34 shipped, and I think it was... One comic was like a $60 comic, and I have no idea what the other comic is worth. But because I saw the one that was worth $60, uh, it's one I had already, but I was like, you know what? I love this comic. Let me buy it again. And I did. So it's almost like I won a giveaway, because I don't know what the second book is worth in this package. I just know it, the one comic I did buy it was worth, you know, way more than the $34 I paid. That's why he's got it in a bag inside. Okay, let's see what we got right here. It's going to be fun. Um, David, how did you know I was on Deadpool? Did you just see the phone for a second? Did I just move? Like, I don't even know how you noticed I was doing whatnot while, while streaming. <laughs> Because we're not multitasking life, right? That's why I'm enjoying live streaming on the main channel. Because I am multitasking. I'm having fun while working. If I was just working, I don't know if I could do sorting in the store right now. Because I don't enjoy it that much. But while I'm live streaming, it's actually a ton of fun. Okay, yeah. This was... Uh... Oh, there we go. We got one entry. So I'm entering in Notorious Hobbies. So this was $28 plus shipping. So it was 34 total shipped... And the reason why I bought it was this comic here. We have Savage Avengers Electra number one. It's a, a Mobius cover. Hey, Will, how are you? It's a, a Mobius cover. They reused the work to make the cover, but it's a one in a hundred variant. This goes for 60 bucks. So I was like, I had to bid on it. And then we had a Fallen Angels number one. Um, I'm right now, just type in Notorious Hobbies. It's a uh, giveaway. He's usually giving away something. Or he gives away stuff pretty often. And uh, this phone, for some reason, doesn't show the video because it's an uh, Android. I don't know why it does that. So I'm just entering. And I'm not going to even hear him. Well, maybe. Let's see if there's any volume. I might be able to hear him. I just can't see him. Oh, there it goes. There it is. All right. Let's see. Another, like, 200 okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess commentators rated on him at some point. <laughs> Someone look this up for me. Look on eBay what Fallen Angels number one the variant goes for. Because I, I don't even know what that is worth. And that was kind of free because I was basically bidding on that. I know that's like a $60 issue. I got it for $34 total. I don't know how much more that one is worth, like as an added bonus. I just I know that was a great deal. I had to jump on it. Even though I had that one already, I was just like, I got to buy this. It was going for too cheap. And if I got outbid, I would have been fine. I just felt like people didn't know what it was and they weren't bidding on it. And it deserved a bid. Uh, okay, next we are going to open up a... Uh, Oh, Nerd Pharmaceuticals. So I paid 30 bucks for this box. Um, Nerd Pharmaceuticals does three or four really good buyer giveaways each day. So I do, when I can, I do like buying one or two things that are cheap just to get a chance to win. Because there's been a lot of times I won the buyer's giveaway. And uh, this time they ran a couple auctions I got cheap. One was uh, 13. No, one was 17 for two comics and one was 13. So I think it's four comics double. Or more, actually. It looks, it looks like a lot more, actually. Wow, that... How many books is that? Did he add stuff to this? I'm a little confused because that looks like a lot of books. Oh, you no. Know, you know what it was? I remember now. So he was doing this thing. So it was a um, blind bid 10 pack. So he showed one book and the book was a Catwoman. And then there's nine more books. You didn't get to see what it was. So I paid $1.70 a book. Uh, and it had a bunch of newer stuff that I actually really wanted. Is anyone looking up Fallen Angels? I'm really curious what that's worth. Really curious. If it's like a $5 book or like a $30 book. And, okay. I think I'm going to start it this way. All right. I'm going to put this down right here. There are David's looking for all the uh, Deadpool books now. I know he is. He's looking to find free Deadpool books. Where's the free Deadpool books? That's what we need to find on whatnot. Uh, okay, I'm going to put these to the side. Okay, so uh, this is a whole Catwoman lot. These were $1.70 a piece. I, I don't think there's any like rare variants, but there were just regular variants in the lot. And a lot, I, I don't think I had any of these. So I'm actually really happy to pick these. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, oh, no, I'm not selling. I'm just trying to win. I'm not selling right now. I will be doing a whatnot show on Monday, I believe. No, I'm just trying to win. Right now, I'm at 27 win... Oops, I just closed the window. I'm at... um. Uh, here. Oh, back in the show. I'm at 27 wins so far. I'm trying to hit 50 so I can do a video that shows you all the cool stuff you can win on whatnot. 
and how it's sort of easy. I mean, it does take a bit of effort to enter a bunch of times, but if you enter a bunch of times, you're going to win. Like when people are like, oh, it's my first win. I've entered thousands of times. I don't understand how they haven't won more than once or, or ever at all because I win all the time. Some variants sold for seven. So this one, this specific one went for seven to ten. Okay, seven to ten is still cool. I'll take it. I'll take it as a free comic. Uh, Terry Dotson cover, which is lovely. Love that. I didn't have that yet. Uh, Cat Woman 56. Really fun cover like that. I thought this cover is really cute. I think this is a... No, it says a Sweeney Boo. Cat Woman 56. And like these are $5 cover prices. So $1.70 feels like such a steal. Way less than a wholesale on these. Uh, Catwoman number two, $4 cover price. Uh, these ones are excited for because I do love David Nakayama. And I don't have any of these newer ones from him. So that David Nakayama Catwoman. Love that. Uh, Catwoman 53, another beautiful cover. Uh, Catwoman 54, another David Nakayama cover. Uh, Catwoman 34 and Catwoman 30. So again, he put up the lot. It cost me 17 bucks for that. Really, really cool lot for 17 bucks. Plus, I was doing it because I wanted to buy something to enter in his buyer giveaway. And um, all right, let's see if I win. Do I win? Do I win? Uh, Riley is awesome. No win on that time. <laughs> okay, and then the second lot. Oh, yeah, these are ones I really, really, really wanted that I... Um, they're two beautiful art germ um, Starfire covers. And I've been wanting them, and then I've been avoiding buying them because I didn't want to spend a lot. I think retail is like 30 on this and like 15 on this. Uh, maybe maybe this is a more common I'm not 100% sure, but all I know is he had the lot for 13 bucks. Uh, listed but not sold. Us. Okay. King James. Is it a good giveaway? All right, let's find King James then. King James. We're going to become the, the giveaway... Uh, stream right now <laughs> what stream is giving stuff away let's go to it all right everyone enter and we're going into uh king james now ah oh, the it, it just the winner just drew i missed it i missed it okay it's okay it's okay it can't be in everyone with just one i um i kind of miss the uh, sj Oh, oh, this one actually sold for 18 to 37. I thought this was a rare variant. I was pretty sure this one was rare. So yeah, 13, 18 to 37. That's crazy. For the price I paid for that lot, that's like he was giving that stuff away. I'm really glad I ended up bidding on it. Uh, I miss buying from the... Oh, SJ's doing a giveaway. I got to enter. There you go. Let's see. She's probably... She might... Usually she says hello when I come in the room. I don't... Hello, Kingpin and Stick Appearance. I don't know if she's going to say anything. Oh, my. Yo, there's still a mountain. There's six of them. Okay. There's... Nope. Okay. She doesn't. But anyway, this is a beautiful art germ foil. I really wanted the pair. So 13 bucks for that was like just I had to buy it because I've been holding off buying it because they were going for like 25 a pair-ish. So when I saw them for 13, I was like, all right, let me just grab it. I was basically grabbing something to be in his buyer's giveaway. And I do recommend if you want to buy from comic traders or nerd pharmaceuticals and you see a lot of things you want to buy, just buy one or two things a night just so you can enter away the giveaway and then the next night unless you don't have time but if you have time then the next night buy one or two things enter the buyer's giveaway and repeat that process and it'll increase your chance of winning some amazing 10 to 20 dollar books from them okay so that was that hey axius how are you uh okay so that was all the uh the comic packages what do we have left we have the three long boxes over here that are left over from the three hundred dollar three thousand book purchase i don't know if this is gonna be really boring or not but i figured we'll have fun just digging through these trying to see if there's anything cool what do you guys think do you think it's gonna be a lot of like junk or do you think it's gonna be something cool i don't know i feel like i already went through the best boxes last week but i'm not 100 percent sure okay let's grab a box i am uh that's just leftovers. I think I think these are all leftovers. There might be one better box. Now, I think they're all leftover boxes. So I'm just going to pull them out and we're going to dig through them. We got 900 books just to go through really quickly. So we're still going to be here a while. We're going to be here a while. I just don't know if there's uh, anything super exciting left in these. Here, I'll show you the top so you guys can kind of see what I'm looking at. 
yeah, still fun. There might be still fun stuff in there. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I think it's pretty much pick through stuff. So there's nothing any like really exciting or golden age, silver age or anything. But we're going to dig through it. We're going to see if we can find anything super fun or interesting. It might be just a lot of boring like Marvel and DC stuff. I'm not sure. But you know what? I love just digging through a big... It's a mystery. You know, it's a mystery. I don't know what's in here. And hopefully... Oops, I, I entered... I left the giveaway. Okay, back in the giveaway. Hopefully I can win something while we're going through these. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm just going. I'm going to blast through them. I don't even know if I am going to uh, read off the titles or anything. You guys just let let me. Um... Yeah, I'm I'm a giveaway goblin too, but I also spend a lot of money. So give me something now, and then down the road I might buy a whole pile from you. I do it all the time. Okay, I didn't win anything there. Um. Oh, all right. I gotta find a good giveaway. All right, I'm gonna start looking. I'm gonna just show comics while I'm looking for a giveaway. And if anything ca catches my eye as I go through these, I'll let you know. I've won stuff like this in giveaways too. Sometimes you win like dollar bin stuff. But sometimes you win really, 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 really good stuff. Yeah, it's like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, oh, that's kind of fun. Spy Boy. I like that. I do like my indie stuff. Hulk 2099. That's kind of fun. Uh, any uh, David, is there any really good uh, giveaways right now? I might, this phone is really slow, so I don't know which room is doing a good giveaway at the moment. I might just go back to, uh, oh, King James still has a lot of people in the room. Maybe they're doing another, yeah, they're doing another one. Back to King James we go. Okay, Punisher 2099, this is fun. That is cool. Generation X, that's kind of boring. These are kind of boring to me. Uh, oh, you know what? This isn't worth a ton, but this is the first appearance of this version of Superboy, the one that shows up at the Titan show. So that's actually kind of cool. I actually like excited to see that. Even though it's not like super valuable or anything. I just think it's a cool key issue. Action comics. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of Superman. You know what I should do to make my life easier? I'm actually gonna sort these while I'm going through them. So I'm gonna put them into the Marvel and DC piles. That's gonna make it um, just a lot easier for me down the road. So I'm actually gonna turn this into a, a work sort. We're gonna sort while we look through these boxes. Because I know if I just go through them, and then I'm going to have to go through them all again in a week. Okay, I got to find if I have any boxes. Though. I have one empty short box. One empty short box. I'm going to see if I have another empty short box to use at the moment. Uh, and I got a long box. Okay, I got an empty long box. Oh, no, there's a short box. Okay. Okay, I got two empty short boxes, so I'm actually going to start sorting these into DC and Marvel piles. So that will just make my life a little bit easier, so that uh, down the road I, I'm already sort of pre-sorted. Yeah, I'm... Uh, <laughs> I am. Yeah, exactly, Tom, exactly. I need to... Um, I'm on whatnot trying to win stuff. And I'm going to actually sort these. So for time's sake, I'm going to get them into the Marvel, DC, and Indie piles. It makes so much sense. You are correct. Because this is the kind of stuff I kind of need to bulk sort more than... Uh, when I buy the more expensive stuff, I don't mind leaving that a little bit mixed up. But the bulk stuff, I like to get sorted out so I can get rid of the duplicates. So yeah, that makes sense. And then we have an image and an Indie pile. Image, I usually keep separate. Indie, DC. Okay, there we go. We are sorting. We are sorting. If I find anything really cool, I'll put that to the side. Like, and I'll leave it to the side for a few minutes. Uh, Superman. Oh, that's cool. Brian Boland, Animal Man. Really cool comic book. Not super valuable or anything, but I absolutely love Brian Boland artwork. Oh, all DC. All DC. Okay, that'll go into the DC box. Uh, SJ is great. SJ is great. Do really enjoy SJ. She's got a great singing voice. She's really friendly. Uh, she bought three of my robots one night. She is cool. She popped in my show and she's like, I'm buying your robots. I'm like, oh man, that is so cool of you. And then I think she gave one away in the pack. I kind of miss buying those packs. I really want to do it again, but I got to wait until I sell some stuff. I need to rebuild my... Uh, con and I got to sell some more of the stuff that I bought in those packs because I have so much of it. Okay, Action Comics. All right, there's going to be a lot of Superman stuff in here, I think. Superman, Superman... 
Superman, Superman, so much Superman, 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 Superman. Okay, those can all go into the DC box. DC's winning so far. Uh, we got the Honeymooners, so we got Indie Book that can go in the Indie Pile. Uh, Marvel, Marvel, those go in the Marvel Pile. Uh, it's good to see some Spidey stuff. Spidey stuff sells for me really well. Like, Spidey is... More than 50% of the comics I sell in the shop, so I'm happy to see a bunch of Spidey stuff. Uh, oh, Space King Dead Eternity. Is this a reprint of the old stuff? Yeah, I think this is a reprint of some of the older stuff. That is actually really neat. Uh, we have a Fem Force. Interesting. Oh, really? Did you did you um did you pay for it or you got it for free? Like, did you win the auction or did you actually like win win it? Because that would be amazing. But Boss Logic makes really cool covers. I don't have that one yet. I actually need to see what it looks like and kind of track it down. This is a cool looking cover. I like that. Fem Force. Iron Man. Indie Pile. Uh, the Nom. I really liked this comic when I was a kid. I, that's one I remember collecting a lot of. Uh, right, good night, Donald. Thanks again for sending me the Ziggy stuff. I'm really looking forward to looking through all of it and really spending some time enjoying it. Uh, Blood Syndicate. Always good to see some Milestone stuff. Blood Syndicate. Uh, All-Star Squadron. Oh, a couple copies of that. I'm actually going to pull out a duplicate and throw it on my for sale pile. I think I'll keep that one for sale pile. All right, one comic for sale. Two bucks potential. Two dollar potential. Uh, okay. Let's see what else I can pull out. I'm really, I'm just wondering if there's anything in here, like some weird indie stuff or something that I'm really excited to get. Because a lot of this 90s Marvel stuff, I just get it so often. So it's not that exciting for me. It's more like, okay, I'll, I have something else to sell. I don't really want to find stuff to sell. I want to find stuff I want for my collection. Oh, we got two copies of that. All right, I'll pull out another duplicate. Put that in the duplicate to sell pile. And that's in the keep for now until I find the rest of them. Okay. Put that there, Star Trek, Next Generation. Oh, Archie comic, that's fun. Don't see too much. Oh, uh, Sandman, what issue is that? Number 16, that's actually pretty cool. That one has a little bit of value. Uh, Invaders from Home, that's a fun looking indie. That's really cool. Oh, we got two comics from that series? Okay, that's really fun. Fat Ninja, okay, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for weird, schlocky indie stuff. That looks kind of fun, actually. I really like that. All right, that was cool. Fat Ninja for me. Uh, Mr. Miracle. Okay, put those in the DC pile. DC. Sandman. Um, you were looking for it. Okay. Uh, let me find a another giveaway. I'm going to scroll through giveaways while I'm kind of looking through here. It's so funny. When I'm kind of half ass looking, I've actually bought things twice just by accidentally hitting the scroll. Instead of scrolling, hitting the bid button. <laughs> so far, it hasn't cost me very much. It was a $10 bid and a $5 bid. But I just, you got to be careful if you're scrolling and not paying attention. And when I'm scrolling like a thousand times, uh, this is a really awesome Joker cover, actually. That is cool. Justice League International. Uh, oh, a cool older Justice League of America. Okay, I really like that. Justice League Europe. Uh, oh, some more fun Eclipse stuff. Always like the Eclipse stuff. Oh, I found a giveaway on Comics Cave Canada. There we go. Giveaway on that channel. Uh, really fun Mr. Monster Eclipse book. Love that one a ton. Oh, more Sandman. Okay, Sandman is cool. Uh, Star Trek. Star Trek can go there. Sandman will go in my Vertigo box. Okay. We will get through this box. I don't know if it's going to be super exciting for me, but we're going to get through it. Just see what we got. Uh, Captain Confederacy. Uh, G.I. Rambot. That sounds awesome, actually. Really like the name of that one. Uh, Black Moon. Oh, let me... Oops, we are, let me get there. Okay, Black Moon. Okay, we got some... This is actually... I'm more excited to find kind of oddball indie stuff like this. Uh, Keith Lammers Red Tape. I don't know what. Oh, the artwork's really fun, though. That's cool. Black Moon 3. Delta 10, number 2. Uh, Thor. Sverd, the Sword of Thor. That looks hideous, but I love it. Uh, Legion X1. Iron Wolf 1. Uh, oh, let me put these in the indie pile. 
Okay, sweet. I'm happy we have a little bit of indie because this is. I'm more excited to get this stuff just because I probably don't have it. The Marvel DC stuff I probably have over and over and over and over. Oh, right, we have some epic stuff. Sword of the Swashbuckler. Oh, Critters number four. Okay, that is a cool book. Uh, it's got some warping to it, but I still think even with the warping, that's it doesn't look water warped. I think it just warped with age. I think that's pressable, and that's probably like a five to ten dollar book. That's actually pretty cool. I do like Critters a lot. Critters is fun. Uh, Murder from Renegade Press. That's actually really cool. I like the Renegade Press stuff. Uh, Thunder Agents. That's interesting. Uh, Whitman Brave and the Bold. That's actually really cool. Uh, here, but these. Uh, Rasta Bob just won. Wow, I've seen Rasta Bob won, win a ton. Uh, we have Justice League of America. Just one issue. And Black Kiss by Howard Chaikin. Okay. I'll right, find a little bit of interesting stuff. I'll take it. I'll take slightly interesting. Uh, okay. Let me grab another stack from this box. Okay. Let's see what we got. We got some uh, Bronze Age Superman, which is cool. Hey, Jim AC. Uh, all right. Oops. We're a little bit crooked. Okay. Honestly, Bronze Age books for a dime each are always good. So I'm actually really happy some, some of this stuff with the 60 cent covers. That's actually really cool, if you ask me. Super cool, super cool. Uh, Superman, Young All-Stars, New Teen Titans. Do like that as well. Phantom Stranger with a cool Magnolia cover. Emerald Dawn, Green Lantern. Justice League America. Justice League Europe. Uh, Justice League, we got a duplicate. Let's pull a duplicate to put in the for sale pile. Uh, oh, X-Men 241. Okay, X-Men's good. That's a very sellable comic book. That's like a probably easy $3. Although it's damn I guess it's ripped. That's probably why it's still in there. Someone would have bought that. So a dollar dollar bin, but like a really easy dollar bin. Uh, Wolverine Punisher, that's neat. All right, put that in the Marvel box. Uh, all right. Um, Batman, Secret Origins 44. Then Vader's... Deathlock number three, Dakota North. Uh, oh, more Eclipse stuff. I'm actually really, the Eclipse stuff is probably my favorite stuff to get. Um, so I have a theory. I think buying does help with giveaways, but I also think interacting helps. So I have a feeling if you do this, you tap. Oh, crap. I can't. I'm closing windows. All right. Here we go. Let me just let the giveaway run. Okay. So I think doing hearts will increase your ability to win. I also think if you bid. So if you see someone that's starting stuff at a dollar and everything starts going up high, if you bid the one, two, three, five bids, bid some of the early bids, I think it increases your chance of winning too. I was doing that on Bryce Comics, and I won a, a $70 slap from him the other night before I bought anything. I just started bidding on everything. I was bidding up to like $10 on everything. Uh, this is super cool. Mark Ebner written. He's the uh, person who did the wording or the uh, writing on Gru. So that is actually really awesome. Oh, check out how cool that cover is. Uh, Skeff. All right. Well, right now I'm on Comic Cave. Is Skef, what is Skeff giving away? Is it something really good? Is it something better than a $2 Spider-Man book? Uh, Dark Horse presents Mind Walk. That's actually really cool looking. Put that there. We got the Astonishing X Men number one. Uh, and number four. So put that in the Marvel box. Uh, Troll Lords number five. I actually really like that cover. Uh, Silky number, number one, I guess. Uh, oh, this is sad. So it's the very best of Marvel Comics, Daredevil, I think, or something. But the cover's ripped off. It might just be a fun read. Maybe someone will buy it out of the dollar bin. But yeah, I think just getting some bids in and interacting, uh, talking in the chat, some hearts. I think all these things kind of increase. And what you'll find is that luck is like a wave. It's like this. Right? There's... There's been days where I've literally in, entered in over 100 giveaways, won nothing. And then there's the next day I might win five times. So really, I feel like it's a wave form of, of good luck. 
So that's why sometimes you'll see people win two or three times in a show because they might have went through 100 where they didn't win and then all of a sudden their luck goes up and then they win a bunch. That actually ha happened to me on uh, Nerd Pharmaceuticals where I hit a, a good luck wave and I won three of their buyer giveaways. I won three and then he basically said, oh, you, you stop entering, you're winning too much. But then there's been a lot of times where I didn't win from him. Uh, Dave's Designs. Okay, I didn't win that one. A sign, something's killing the children. Okay, I gotta go into Skeff. I gotta find Skeff. Skeff. I don't know if this is alphabetical or not. Ah, uh, I don't. I can't. I gotta. I gotta search. How do I search? Skeff. Skeff. Ah, oh, this is so slow. This is not working very well for me. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to keep entering in as I see it. Because it just, uh, the connection on this phone seems really slow. So, comics and manga, all comics and manga. Uh, all right, we go. Let me just find something. Okay, let me just, um, keep showing comics while I'm trying to win something. Oh, wow. Detective 485, how did that not sell out of their dollar bin? That makes no sense. Oh, hey, Jason. How's your uh, your trip? Are you staying in a uh, hotel or... Like, it's late. I'm assuming you're staying somewhere overnight. Just relaxing. Where in PA are you, Jason? I'm just curious if you want to try to do a... Um... Oh, there we go. I'm in Skeff now. If you want to try to do a live... Dollar bin hunt. Uh, I, I want to try to see if I can do that on uh, video somehow. Or if not, I mean, if you you are too shy about it, that's okay too. I'm not going to force you, but I'm just curious where you are. Okay, uh, I can't believe that was in the dollar bin. Batman Family Detective 40. Like, these in the dollar bin, they didn't sell? That seems a little bit... Uh, it's live. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm trying to win. I'm at 27 wins. I'm trying to hit 50 wins to do a video where I open up 50 wins from whatnot. I think that's going to be a really fun video. I can't, these, these are really good books out of here. Okay, DCR. We got Cable One. Okay, so this must have been a, a stuff he pulled out, maybe. Like, this maybe wasn't in the dollar bin, because I feel like this is good stuff. Dark Walk, X-Force, maybe not good stuff. X-Force One, uh, the Cable Card. Uh, Bo Jackson and Michael Jordan, two 80s classic sports folks. Uh, a beautiful Scarlet Witch cover. That is gorgeous. Uh, all right, let's go. Am I winning? Are we going to win? Who's winning? Who's winning? Blackness 615. Oh, all right, cool. Very cool. Uh, Dark Hawk. Oh, Dark Hawk 2. History, the second appearance of Dark Hawk. Trial Magneto, Trial Magneto. So those are variant editions. So I don't know if those are like a little bit rarer versions or not. Let's put those in the DC box. Oh, I hope you do find a good comic shop because why not? It's always fun to dig through some comics. At least that's how I feel. I need to find some more places to go to too. I'm like itching to dig for more comics, but I have to like do it on a really limited budget. All right, we got some... Nice Bronze Age Supermans. Those are fun. Uh, Justice League of America. Like, this is cool, but the, these are really hard for me to sell. Underworld. Captain Adam 11. I like that cover. Okay, those are cool. Um, oh, we did show the coolest comic ever before. I don't know where I put it, though. It's somewhere within the master stacks. Oh, Jason, I found it in a... You, you'll appreciate this. I found it in a random box today that got on eBay for a dollar comic. That was in there, which is really cool. Yeah, I'm pretty, Tom, I'm pretty sure I need those variants as well because I've never seen them before. Okay, we got more uh, Punisher and Wolverine. Okay. Uh, X-Men 12. Okay, that's a, uh, not sure the artist. That's kind of cool. X-Men 7. 
X-Men 6, a fun uh, selfie cover. This is how it feels like every time I'm at a concert. This is what it looks for. All right, good night, Jason. Sleep well. Take care. Have a fun trip home tomorrow. Uh, X-Men 5. Okay, these are fun because I don't think I have any of these. X-Men 3. So I do like when I get modern comics like this in a just a cheap lot. Just so I can fill in my collection. Oh, and number one, is that... Um, I always forget ND, but I like his artwork. I think it's pretty fun. I always think it's Arthur Adams at first because he has a sort of a similar style, but sort of different. Uh, Avengers Thunderbolts, number one. Number two, I wonder if these are going up in value. Uh, number four, number five, and number six. Okay, we got those. Yeah, I won. Uh, I bought three slabs from him and I won like a $60 one for free. It was actually pretty awesome. But I, I don't think I might have bought one comic or I hadn't bought a comic yet when I won the slab. But again, I, like I said, I was bidding on everything, one or two bids at the beginning just to increase my chances. I'm pretty sure if you bid on things, whether you win it or not, increases your win chances. At least that's how I feel. Because I feel like whenever I'm bidding, I am have a much higher chance of winning stuff. Uh, X-Force 1. This has the X-Force card. Uh, oh, we got another copy of that. So that's going to be a duplicate. All right, we got some duplicates here. X-Force 1. Uh, Shatterstar card. X-Factor Annual 4. X-Factor Annual 8. X-Factor Annual. Not sure the number. Oh, I got duplicates. Let me pull out one duplicate. All right, I'll pull out one duplicate. Uh, X-Factor 80. Uh... Some kind of Nazi cover. Go in the DC box. And Spectacular Spider-Man 140. Oh. Skeff has another giveaway. So let's enter it. Uh, what am I too late for? I just entered. Or did I miss one? I might have missed one. I don't know. Dropping books. Dropping books. I don't want to drop my 10 cent books and damaging them. I don't want to damage my 10 cent books. Okay. What do we got here? We got a uh, Death of Wolverine or X Death of Wolverine. I, uh, what number is that? Number three. X Death of Wolverine four. These ones I don't have yet. Number four again. So one of those must be a variant. Number five. Uh, number five again, another variant. Number two, uh, Sandman Universe, Nightmare County or Country, number one. Sabretooth, one. X Lives of Wolverine, one. Oops, I'm mixing these up by publisher. I'm just trying to get through these and then I got to resort them. Uh, these are super cool though. I don't have any of these in my collection yet. So it's really fun to kind of fill in the collection with some of this newer stuff. I love buying newer stuff like this when it's cheap because it means I fill in the collection without spending a ton. Okay, Marvel, 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 Marvel. One sand, well, I mean, one DC, Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. Okay, put these in the Marvel box. Put this in the DC box. Okay, Ooh. it's kind of hard to pull out stacks. Okay, Ooh, it's hot today. I feel like it was a cool day, but the basements are super hot right now. I feel overheated. Oh, Tina's in the room with CF Comics. All right. <laughs> Let's see who wins. Let's see who wins. Okay, uh, Batman the Knight. These are fun. I don't have those. Super fun on those. Uh, Black Adam. Okay, put those in the DC pile. DC. We got uh, Black Panther number five. Uh, Iron Man 598. Uh, Hawkeye number three. That's cool. Marvel's one. I think that's an Alex Ross cover. A uh, Catwoman, Defiant. DC. Wait, am I mixing these up? No, that's Marvel and that's DC. Okay. Catwoman, Defiant. Marvel's again. I think that's Alex Ross. Uh, more Batman. The Flash. Put this here. Uh, Trial of Magneto. Silk number four. That's fun as well. Okay, this is cool. This is going to add a lot of new mainstream stuff to my collection that I don't have yet. Uh, Secret X-Men number one. Okay, those go in the Marvel box. 
Okay, and I'll have these kind of sorted by the time I'm done, which is good. I need more and more stuff sorted because I'm kind of drowning in comics right now. Uh, okay, what is anyone saying? Uh, Batman 11, Black Panther 5, two of those. Let me pull out a duplicate. Okay, that one looks better. Uh, oh, we got Deadpool. Deadpool number eight. Uh, all right, put those in the Marvel box. Nope, Marvel and DC. So Marvel there. DC here. Okay, we got uh, Peacemaker number one. Variant cover. Uh, Rain from Image. Rain one. Rain two. That's cool. I do like getting image stuff because I do really like the image stuff. I think it's more interesting. Uh, Swamp Thing. Jen, Sun, the Saturn 3. Beyond Mars. I think that's a reprint of some old school... Uh, that's DC. Yeah. Oh, reprint of some old school stuff. I'm actually going to look inside that real quick. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, this is uh, just black and white reprints of some old school comics. Probably from the 50s, maybe late 40s. Oh, that's fun. It's got an annoyed ad on the back. Actually, I really like that. I remember back in the 80s, every time we got Domino's Pizza, I would get a little annoyed figure. So I always really liked the annoyed. I had like 10 of them at one point. Okay, this goes in the indie pile, DC pile, DC pile. Okay, let's get rid of those. All right. Okay, a couple more handfuls to go through, and then we'll be done here. Uh, Wasteland Black Widow number one. That's actually a really, really cool looking cover. I like that one a lot. Uh, Captain America 5, Marvel. All right, I am, I, I feel overheated, I think. So I'm going to try to finish through this box. And then I think I'm going to call it a night. So we got about 30 more to go through. Task Force C, bunch of those. Three, four, uh, seven, seven. Put those in the DC box. Okay, we got Thor 22. Uh, Captain America 2. Captain America 3. We only find them when they're dead. That's a fun indie. I like getting that kind of stuff from Boom. Uh, oh, we only find them when they're dead, number two. So that's really cool. Uh, Null is coming variant. Funeral Pyre, number one. Ant, number one. Ant, number one. Put this in the Marvel pile. Uh, Marvel Alpha, Reckoning War, Avengers Annual 1. Avengers Annual 1 again. Avengers Tech on Avengers 1 variant. Oh, <laughs> where, uh, David, where, where was that comic? Who was selling it? There's a lot of really goofy comics out there. I kind of really like the goofy ones. All right, enter giveaway. Okay. All right, let's just... Oh, box is falling. I definitely... I have one... Ah, I might have to call it quiz. I feel like I'm getting overheated. Let, let, all right, let me just finish this box. We'll get through this box, and then we'll call it quits. We'll get a little bit more content here. Okay. Star Lord, Wastelanders, Star-Lord 1. Two copies of that, so I can get rid of one. So one of those. Getting duplicates together like that makes it easier for me to put in the cell pile. Wastelanders, Star-Lord, Wastelanders, Hawkeye. Oh, these are actually kind of cool, actually. I really like these. Wolverine, so Old Man Logan. Legends, Black Panther. Uh, Hellboy. That is fun. Okay. Put that in the Marvel box. Uh, all right. What's this? A uh, bunch more modern Marvel stuff. Knights of X, Captain America, Avengers 55, uh, Banner of War, Inferno. Okay, put those in the Marvel box. Marvel box. And, uh, okay, it's a little bit more indie in here. So we got some Comico stuff. We got Fish Police 14. That's neat. Uh, the Nom. I'll put this in the indie pile. Got a bunch of Nom. No, just a couple. Iron Man. No, we do have a bunch of nom. Nom. More nom. So there's like a whole run of those. Put those in the Marvel pile. 
Yeah, we had Condom Man show up on this channel a week ago or two weeks ago. We found it in one of the boxes. Pretty funny comic book. Uh, there wasn't really much in it. <laughs> like, it, it was just, it was a silly comic book, honestly. But it was still fun to feature it on the channel. A bunch of noms and Iron Mans. Nom 10. Is that a duplicate? All right, let's get, take a quick look at the duplicate. We yank one duplicate. Okay, put that in the Marvel box. Marvel box again, full. Okay, we got uh, Tom Corbett, uh, Space Cadet. So we got some cool anime stuff. Um, Ham Squirrel, you mentioned that the only thing is when I do 10 minute videos, they do very poorly on my channel. So what I usually do is I take one hour videos and then I turn them into like five hour videos. The longer the video, the actually the better the algorithm promotes it. It's really annoying. It'd be cool if I could just do nice 10 minute videos. And that would be really fun because I would probably like make it so I could do lots more topic and stuff. But that's, um, I don't know. Every time I try to do a 10 minute video, I'll get like 1500 views. If I do a three hour video, I'll get, you know, thousands of views and it just keeps going up every month. Um, but I do, I have been cutting out my walk channel for this channel. So like my dollar bin digging video was a two hour live stream that I cut down to an hour. All right, the nom, blue beetle. Oh, look what we got! Ravage twenty ninety nine. Ding ding ding. Okay, that's gonna go into um, Aussie comic. Club. Oh, two copies. That's gonna go into his potential pile. I'm trying to get fifty copies for him. Slowly building up the piles. Uh, all right. Good night, John. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, yeah, Melinda always says, I'm still in Skeff Comics as one giveaway right now. When that's over, I'll hop over to Melinda's. Uh, Star Wars, we'll put that in. Uh, Indie Pile, Vertigo, Sandman. I like seeing the Sandmans in here. DC, that one's kind of damaged. Put that in DC. Uh, indie, okay. Put these away, put these away, put these away. I think tomorrow... No, I don't think I can store comics tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to work on the whatnot stuff. So I maybe Tuesday I got to do a lot of sorting. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, uh, Jesus, uh, yeah, I can look at that. It would be really cool if he did the full book. It has three names, though, so hopefully it doesn't mean... Uh, n um, I... Right, he usually has like the thicker, like this looks like Magnola. Um, he might have done the interior. I'm not 100% sure on there. Let me see. Yeah, he did the interior. Yeah, he did. That's actually really cool. Very neat. Very neat stuff. Yeah, Sandman books are really cool to pick up. Uh, I don't know if I'm selling any myself at the moment. I have to sort it into my own collection. Because I'm trying to put the whole set together. Uh, okay, the winner's drawn. I'm going to go over to Melinda's now. All comics. Okay, let's just get through the stack. And then I need to go eat dinner and uh, get something to drink. Oh, I can pull out one duplicate of these. And um, then to go to sleep. Because I'm tired. I've been, I have streamed three times today. I've been streaming 70 hours today. It's been a very, very long day. All right, couple of Marvel... And I still have to clean up all the packaging and stuff I opened today. Uh, System 7, we have some more fun indie stuff. Mid-80s indie. Uh, pretty cool looking. I like that. Miracle Squad. Uh, Southern Knights. We got some weird stuff. Oh, another Fat Ninja. That's funny. Uh, North Guard. The Epsilon Weave. This is a comic I made fun of like a year ago. And people got really mad at me. Like some huge fans of it. Uh, it still looks kind of schlocky to me, but that's all right. I like schlocky stuff. I just like to make fun of it as well. The Realm, number six, number five. Um, first Elf Warrior in Adventures, number one. Okay. Oh, a Detective Comics. That's cool. Hey, hey, Zeus. Welcome back. Okay, put that in my indie pile. Good little bit of indie in there. So, like, something like this is cool because this is a very sellable 2 to $3 book. Like, any of these detectives are cool. These will sell in my shop. Then the DC. 
Uh, Avengers, Doctor Strange, those are the Marvel. Okay, Oops, so all comics. Uh, there you go. I'm in Melinda's. Is she doing a giveaway? Yep. Enter the giveaway. End the giveaway. Okay, Suicide Squad. We got Norman, Normal Man 3D Annual. That's actually really cool looking. The phony pages, that's cool looking too. Oh, Neil the Horse, I like these. I think the artwork is really fun on these. Okay, we got a couple issues of that. Those are really cool. Oh, we have a, a first comic. I'm not sure if I have that one, so that's really cool. The Amazing Wahoo. Red Fox number six. Oh, we have two of those, so I'm going to pull a quick duplicate out of that. Uh, Midnight Skulker. And... Pee Wee Golden Features. Okay, very interesting. Woo, okay, we went through that box. I think the last two uh, long boxes I'm going to hold back for next week because I am kind of actually really tired. Kind of tired and sweaty, and it's been a long stream. I hope you guys enjoy this really long stream again. I do like doing them. Uh, I can't wait for the weather to get a little bit cooler so it's not so sweaty. Um, but yeah, I just want to let you know, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And thank you for hanging out with me all day on all three streams. If you're not following me yet, follow me on Pop Walks. There's a link in the description. Uh, also, I'm back on the main channel, Pop Fun to Play, trying to do daily videos if I can. But I, uh, I, I had fun tonight. It was a ton of fun. So I will try to do another comic video this week. And hopefully by next Sunday, I have enough to do another big haul video like this. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll be doing daily shop videos in Pop Fun to Play. And if I can, daily walk videos. Okay, see you guys soon. Bye!